really. Okay, hang on. Share it ready up. <laughs> oh my god. Where are we dropping? <laughs> uh, let's do a short game this time. Yeah, let's yeah, let's try a short game. Oh, I didn't see a difference between the short game and the long game. Do we need to read oh. this again? Are we okay if we just skipped? We can skip the narration this time, yeah. I'm so... hmm. Post on my Twitter that we're live. Well, not much is known about 1553 other than uh, Shanghai is fortified for the first time in the Ming Dynasty. Mm -hmm. uh, lots Wait, of. Is that memory or are you on Google? I'm on Google. Oh, I was about to say, like, ah, you don't like my brother, you're like a history buff, it's awesome. No. <laughs> I. No. Um. Then, uh, lots of queens and shit burning people for witchcraft. Uh, no, burning people Fing for heretics. Fingers crossed that you guys read this the way I want you to read this. Watermelon? Yeah! Watermelon! <laughs> I was like, he's green, he has like the, the, like the watermelon inside colors. <laughs> Um, what else? The world's smallest. A blade blade? Heck yeah! What the Malone? Sharon, you're player two this time, so choose your Say character. What? Fire, baby. Mm hmm. Uh. Oof. So apparently I'm working a uh, much longer shift tomorrow. That's fun. <laughs> Why they do that? I don't know. It seems to always happen when I get blessed with a short shift. <laughs> At least I was told ahead of time this time. Mm. It's like when I'm like there and then they're like, hey, can you stay later? And I'm like... Oh my god, I really don't want to, but it's not like I have anything else today, so yeah. <laughs> the fuck's up? What'd you do? I was trying to put a log name and it wouldn't work. <laughs> oh, it's alright. Mm, my stomach is not happy today. Looks like mm -hmm. the, uh... Let's go. Nya -bana. Nya -bana. It was gonna be Nya, like, Nya, and then it wouldn't be <laughs> Looks like looks like that Friday the thirteenth game is gonna be a dead game. <laughs> I'm player three. My name is uh... <sighs> Should I go political? Mm. <laughs> political? <laughs> you know, Joe Biden. Oh, nah. Why? Because you're blue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's go, blue. E. Guys, I saw orange vent. We should uh vote him out. He's kind. Of, he's very <laughs> sus. Mm, very. Hey, Sharon, your name's Nya Bana. Nya Bana. 
No, I'm not. <laughs> I know we somewhat talked about it this uh, last time, but uh, what what was uh, everyone's uh, if if we could pick our own monster, what would it be? I would be an alien, an alien prince. Should I do this? Or We're should I be innocent? Or a moth person. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. You like shiny <laughs> things. I do. I mean, wouldn't that make me also a crow? <laughs> <laughs> or a magpie? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm Try a lot of nuggies. Perfect. <laughs> Or do you know the person who said hi? Yeah. Mm. Hello, Sephira 10. This will be us. Hi, Casey. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why. Everyone's don't ask. favorite cereal. Apple shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. The sock puppet! Absolutely. Apple shit. Hipster costume? Ew. Ooh, uh. I'm trying to think. If, <laughs> w would my monster be a vampire, a devil, or a skeleton? Vampire, devil, skeleton. <laughs> I think, or I think you should be a ghost pirate. Your turn. <laughs> Yellow. Water Malone, Apple Shack. Yabba Yabba I'm sorry, I'm going with my previous name. Summer me is. Oh, Aw, yes. they don't give you the same stuff? Damn it. Uh, give me that new, new voice acting. Competitive tarot. I love Octo Magic same. mirror. Ooh, MC Griffin. Multi tool. That seems useful. That Ooh, useful. and both good. Take true field guide. I'm gonna take the competitive tarot. Mm. Uh, it's just Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Magic shrooms or MC Griffin. I think I'm gonna take some fucking music. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. And it's the same as last time. The babes! The devil, the beautiful one, and Milo. They're all, all right. beautiful. They're all beautiful. It's just that Milo. Which one of these articles would you most want to read? Okay. Hmm. I what guess the? It depends on how on who uh you're going for. Secret tricks to win out rock, paper, scissors. On the heck Game box, a, a big I rock. I know which one is, uh, my girl. The frick? Cameron Bird is cheese. <laughs> so it's deep, complex feelings about cheese? Yes. Sometimes I dream about cheese. Cow's milk cheese. Similar to Brie. You just need to, you just need to tell me it was cheese and we're good. Yeah. Okay. Fifty uh, facts about sequoias. What are sequoias? 
trees. Trees. Hmm. Big trees. <laughs> Did you know you can hug a tree to death? Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Why would I? Why would I do that? <laughs> I learned this because I went on like a a nature walk up front uh, up north, and there was like this huge tree that's like. You, you 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 would need like two people to wrap around it and because people kept on doing that to get their pictures taken they literally hugged the tree to death <laughs> okay i'm just gonna answer the one that i think is dahlia <laughs> oh. oh that article is a favorite of mine i didn't know you read it too water malone <laughs> I've often said that one's soul is a lot like camembert. A buttery outer shell, a sweet gooey center. And it's easily perishable. Watermelone. I hope that you'll get more in touch with your inner camembert alongside me while we're at camp. <laughs> I love that article. It's taught me so many cheat codes to the classic game. Cheated rock, paper, scissors. It's like one of the easiest games of chance in the world. Easy! You just cut the opponent's hands off. Works every time. What about me? My hands aren't attached to arms. Your strategy is totally debunked. Shit, you're right! Nya, yeah, banana! <laughs> Even head! Okay, though. We've got all summer to find a different way to beat Hex at their own game. We'll strategize once we get to camp. Oh, no! Not again! Fuck yeah! I read the article. It's awesome! Hey, at least you got Warren. I know! <laughs> Yet again, you both feel the people I love. <laughs> I <laughs> Why do you look at me like that? Do you not think I would read that in the article? I read sometimes! I just don't <laughs> read lame shit like textbooks or traffic signs. Oh no. But very illegal stuff I do in international waters. Now that's a great laundry list I can enjoy reading. Apple chat. <laughs> we should talk more about all the shenanigans we get up to in national waters when we get to camp. It taught me everything I know about headbutting rock. <laughs> I've been practicing all week leading up to camp, so I can headbutt any shady looking boulder I see. No man, beast, or mineral gets past Dolly Aquina. Princess, if you follow the the rigorous, wow words, three headbutt <laughs> exercises in that article, I bet one day your forehead could be as swollen as mine. I wish. Why don't we do some head butting reps together while we're at camp? Yeah! Sounds like a way to get your head cracked open. Mm hmm. That only makes it stronger. Okay, and then that's the same thing. There's a difference between this and the long game. This one has two weeks. Oh, okay. It, so I had like one extra week. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh god. Mm. Pick your poison. That day you play competitive spin the bottle. <laughs> you must kiss a camper for the camp rival camp. It's a long, intense kiss in which your tongues wrestle mercilessly. Oh god. Mm. <laughs> competitive <laughs> kiss. Some unexpected biting, since that's currently very high on the meta, while holding the back of their head to prevent an untimely escape. You win a kissing. It goes without saying. You've earned plus two charm. Later, you and Milo are sitting around making small talk about what happens to us after we die when... Hey, bros. <laughs> oh, should I be uh, Scott? Go for it. Okay. Be the good boy. <laughs> hey, bros. What are you two talking about? Something super fun, I bet. And nothing that'll shatter my worldview. 
Um, right, of course. Hey, Scott, is it okay if I ask a favor of you? <laughs> totally, bro. What else are bros for besides doing nice things for other bros? Bro? Yes. Super. Listen, would you be hurt if I asked you to stop calling me bro? <gasps> Wait, but why? It's a compliment, dude. We're bros. I call you that because I like you. Right, and I know you mean nothing by it, which is why I haven't said anything sooner, but bro and dude are gendered terms, you see, and I don't identify with a binary gender. <clears throat> so when you call me bro or dude, or even my guy, I feel like I'm not being seen for who I really am, you know? Mm. Aww, their heart turned blue. <laughs> okay, sure, I get the whole no gender thing, I think. Like, sports don't have a gender, or my pet rock Alex, last time I asked. Oh, bro. I call everybody bro, even my friends who are girls like Polly and Dahlia. I'm not trying to be mean. I know, and if Polly and Dahlia are okay with being called bro, that's great. But for me... Well, let's just say that I find gender to be a prison and I've already broken free of my cage. But anytime someone else genders me, it sort of feels like I'm back in that cage. Oh man, I hate being in cages! I have to go into one every time I turn into a werewolf so I don't eat anyone or hump the furniture or whatever. <laughs> it's super boring! Oh my god. Of course it is. Please. So imagine feeling like that, but every single day of your life, whenever people call you sir or dude or Mr. Belladonna, it gets really old. Awesome, bro. Yeah, I get it. I promise to never call you bro again, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, oops, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to it. I promise I'll try harder. Don't feel sorry, darling. What matters is that you're putting the effort in. Not that you occasionally mess up. There are so many people who wouldn't even bother to try. Wait, you mean there are people who would intentionally make their friends uncomfortable despite their wishes? What's up with that? I wish I knew, my dude. I wish I knew. Anyway, I know old habits die hard. Maybe there's another friendly nickname you could address me with that isn't so gendered. Would that make things easier for you? That sounds great! Totally! Yeah, Milo Thanks, so Milo! Good. This'll help a lot! What should I call you from now on? <laughs> Laurel. Hey, wait! Why is Scott the only one who gets to be an ally? You want to be supportive, too. What's a non-gender-specific nickname that Scott could give to Milo? Your grace. Your grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Non -pro -nary. Oh. Non -pro -nary. Mm. I think your grace is probably what Milo's gonna love. But does my stats love that? I mean, if you get the <sighs> wrong one, doesn't it take away from your stats? Yeah. But I have to be like a certain, like a certain level to get it right. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm not if I'm not like bold enough, I might lose. Uh you can deep bro the bro baby steps. Okay. Uh I don't know. <sighs> okay, your grace seems charming. I got five charm. It's not my best, but it's, it's not your worst. yeah. It's not. I th and maybe the uh, baby stuff is creativity. Is it a different stat, or does it just take away from a stat? Um, these two. So these two choices each is a uh, um relates to a different stat. Mm. So if your grace is a a, a charm. Mm -hmm. If my charm is high enough, it, I'll get a good ending. I see. So, okay. I think five charm is good. Uh, Not so charming. God dang it. Oh no! Isn't your grace something people call kings and queens? Does that mean Milo's royalty? Sure. How is the wrong There's answer? No way that could ever go wrong. I'm not charming enough. Ow. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought That's five would cool. be good enough. Oh, I see, I see. So you have to have your charm high enough in order to answer the charm? Yep. Oh, that's crazy. That means I have three friends who are part of a monarchy. You guys should make a club. Um, no. No thank you. I appreciate the sentiment, Water Malone, but I'm wildly uncomfortable with being considered royalty. 
Why? I'd love to be a prince or a king. They get a shiny crown and a horse to ride, and sometimes they get to play with swords. My grandma won't even give me a sharp scissors. But I've already dealt with the constricting concept of gender. Why would I align myself with another nonsensical system tied to the circumstances of my birth? Nothing. Nobility is something you inherit. It's completely outside of your control. It's just another type of gender. I won't stand for it. <laughs> Why would you even suggest that I'm royalty, Water Malone? What is it with you always trying to glorify me, like liking all my selfies, following me around all the time? Oh, Could it be no. that you have some sort of weird servitude <laughs> complex? No. <laughs> Maybe. Water Malone also acted like this all the time in high school, following people around, doing whatever they thought would please them. Oh, we're getting wow, called out. That sounds so very bad. mentally unhealthy, Water Malone. I understand wanting to have an all-powerful monarch to look up to, but you really shouldn't rely on that. You need to visualize yourself as the master of your own destiny. Don't look to others to guide you. Be your own monarch. Uh. Wait, is that why Water Malone acts like this? Our other friends and I always thought it was just because they were trying to have sex with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's like a Surf fetish or something? I mean, I don't like to kink shame, but yikes. Look, Water Malone, what you do in the bedroom is none of my business, but please don't involve me in it until I explicitly ask you to. Consent is important, you know. What a day. First I'm misgendered, then I'm sexually harassed. Let's go, Scott. I need a drink. I'm thinking a 1986 Malbec. It pairs well with disgust. Oh. Ow. Dang. <laughs> Oh. They leave, discussing other nicknames Scott can give Milo instead of Bro. You had other ideas to share, but clearly no one wants to hear your opinion anymore. Bummer, Bro. Or would you prefer your kinkiness? Either way, you lose minus two smarts and minus one fun. Showtime! I'm sorry, uh -oh. Bro. This sucks! Summertime fun! Oh, that's right, oh, I don't like this! Look at this picture! <laughs> I forgot, he's You start a super soak sir fight that turns out into an all-out war. The enemy team manages to capture the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weaknesses. You lead a full-scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers get totally soaked. TM. It's a bloodbath. <laughs> After several hours, the enemy team surrenders and you gain plus two fun from the peace treaty. Yay! Uh, yeah. Later, you're minding your own business, sunbathing, when you hear nearby laughter. You look over to see Polly and Scott talking at the edge of the lake. <laughs> My baby! Well, Mama said never to eavesdrop, but Mama nonetheless raised a horny, nosy son of a bitch, so you decide to listen in. That's not what my mom told me. She told me to be nosy. Oh my man, Scott! You should have seen her face. This is hands down my favorite Slayer prank yet! Uh, what? I don't really get it, though. You told her there's the friendly lady at the bottom of the lake? Yeah, and that she'd give a worthy warrior or whatever a legendary weapon to aid them in their adventures. Classic. Now she's gonna wander Ooh. over here and try to swim for it. Uh -oh. Maybe she won't find anything. Classic! <laughs> Ooh, do you think she'll drown trying? Then I can finally have another ghost buddy. I've always wanted to have a social group I could possess an entire boy band with. M morbid. <laughs> what is lying to a Ravi about something she's really passionate about? Kind of mean. Oh, it's okay. No, silly. It's like that time I told you all of your favorite stars are actually your friends, but they can't hear you, so you gotta scream at them. It's not mean if it's funny. <laughs> oh, but that wasn't a lie, because you're my friend, and you'd never lie to me. So I guess what you told a Ravi is true. You're debating breaking Scott's heart about the stars when you hear voices from the other side of the lake. Uh-oh. It's Aravi and Hex, and you think you know why they're here. Just fucking watch me. You drag me away from the 24-hour rerun marathon of Wipeout for this? Why do you even want a new weapon? You ha already have so many. You guys, uh, seen any- I told you, Hex, I'm going for a completionist run. Last summer, I ignored all the camp side questions. Because I was so focused on beating the final boss and I missed lots of cool loot. Hmm. Besides, this Lady of the Lake rumor has major quest written all over it. I hope the prize is a new sword. 
Preferably a long sword that's no lot not longer than me for a change. Or we can just Is there really any chance the grand prize will be a lifetime supply of strawberry cream cheese? I just ran out and we won't have time to stop by 7 Eleven before wipeout time. We are not going to 7 Eleven! But why? Yeah, no, duh. I just said there wouldn't be enough time to. Shut up! Ugh, shut up! I need to focus on summoning this Lady of the Lake and getting my new amazing sword. She should appear any minute now. Uh. Hmm. Boring. Well, I'm bored. Wipeout time. Unbelievable! I said no! Damn it! Gods, you're the most annoying curse I've ever had. <sighs> you know it's all fake, but you hate seeing Aravi's bubble get burst. She looks so cute and excited to stab people. You need to defuse this prank. So you jump in the lake to give Aravi her treasure. But it's not like you have an extra badass sword lying around. You grew out of your katana phase forever ago. <laughs> quick! You better figure out something quick before Aravi discovers this is all a ruse. Uh, frantically looking for the first thing. Like, you can find something ridiculous. What? No. Hmm. Stick your hand out of water and give Aravi the best <laughs> one of all. A thumbs up. <laughs> She will not accept this. No. Oh. I, I want to see what happens if you succeed the thumbs up, though. <laughs> Would the thumbs up be... I think that I don't fun. know. Funny. <laughs> yeah, I think that might I, be fun. This one seems bold. Uh, fuck it. Thumbs up. Damn it. <laughs> Why is five charm not good enough for these first ones? Thumbs up. What the heck? I love and support you and want you to succeed in all aspects of life. And I also kind of want to boink you, but only if you're cool with that. <laughs> boink! Wait, I see something. <laughs> Why would the Lady of the Lake give you a thumb? This isn't possible! Yeah, what's the deal? I thought I was getting a legendary weapon. What a ripoff! Unless the thumb is the legendary weapon. Oh, please don't cut off my thumb. <laughs> I mean... That sounds pretty dumb, but it's no dumber than half the shit I've seen you and your friends do around here, so I'd say that's as likely as anything. Mm. Well, I need no further convincing. Don't worry, Lady of the Lake, I'll accept your mighty thumb! Please. Wait, no, you need your thumb! Your thumb is like your third favorite finger! <laughs> you try to swim away, but aren't fast enough as you try to avoid getting tackled by Aravi and Hex as they jump you and try to yank off your thumb. <laughs> Why won't it come? Ah! Wait, I think this thumb is still attached to something. What? What's it? Oh, Nyabana. Whatever. What are you doing in here? Uh. Hmm, honestly, seems like she might have pretended to be the Lady of the Lake and give you a thumbs up just to fuck with you. Uh. I respect the vibe you're going for, Nyabana, but fucking with Robbie is my lovable shtick. But you do it, it's just mean, not cool. But... No, <laughs> that can't be it. I would never suspect a dear friend like Nyabana of tricking me. Not when I'm working on overcoming my inherent trust issues. Oh. The only explanation is... Nyabana's thumb must be the legendary weapon. Get good! Why have you been holding out on me all this time then, Nyabana? Be a lamb and give me your thumb! Please. <laughs> Look, you want a summer fling as badly as the next monster, but you're not going to amputate your thumb for it. You barely escape the lake alive, but you do lose minus two charm and minus one fun. I just got that fun! <sighs> Gosh, damn it! <laughs> I don't even want to rob <laughs> but I'm, I hate losing. Boldness. I need it. In the haunted manner, oh, a voice whispers from the from the walls in a frightening voice. <laughs> you don't want something potentially terrible happening to you. You stay put to be sure you don't get extra boldness per the voice's prediction. Look at you, trying to defy destiny itself. That takes some bravery. Here, have plus two boldness. Do you find Damien? 
calculus or in Milo in the basement. They discovered a secret room full of creepy artifacts, just like in the movies. And they're blithely fucking with all of it, just like in the movies. <laughs> what is up, my lovers? Milo here with another exciting unboxing video for you all. <laughs> this week, an authentic Iron Maiden with fresh blood coming out of it. Let's take a look. Wow, a corpse impaled on some spikes. They've really gone all out on the details here. Let's see what features this corpse has. Fuh, there's so much brutal shit here. I don't even know what I like the most. <laughs> this haunted dollhouse is constantly on fire and screaming. But this haunted television keeps showing me what I'd look like without skin on my face. Oh, I can't choose. Oh. I am participating in this foolishness as well. I have found a rotary telephone that speaks with a devil's voice. I asked it if we might share a common ancestor, but all it says is blood, blood, blood. And so I am at a loss as to how to proceed. Oh, well. Kind of zany bullshit you should try to get your friend's attention when your clumsy ass saves you the trouble by tripping over a power cord. You whack your head on some kind of large box, large box made of glass and metal, and it lights up to reveal a carnival fortune teller. Proof that our future really is the dream of our fantasies. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I like how a dummy is inside is grinning and like an insane person and obviously cursed. I am mildly disturbed by the fact that it is operating despite its power cord not being plugged in. Thank you for activating me, rasps the fortune teller. As a show of gratitude, I will answer any one question about the future. Be forewarned, however, the price for this forbidden knowledge is your soul. Raise your hands if you have a soul. Nobody? Sick. Free fortune knowledge. Someone ask this question. Oh, I have a question. Can you all believe how lucky we are to be alive at this point in history? I think he meant a question for the fortune teller friend Milo. Oh, nope. The only thing I question is my own limits. Daily, as should we all. This is the opportunity you've been waiting for. Ask a question so good it will want to make your friends have sex with you later. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. As long as you don't pick something that sounds charming. <laughs> <laughs> that has not been... Neither of these sound Be very creative, because you have eight of that. Not so smart. The fortune teller's eye, lifeless eyes are incapable of showing emotion, but you nonetheless detect an expression of shock upon its wooden face. Tell you what you're going to ask, that's... The fortune teller's box rocks on its foundations. The smoke spills out of its case in great clouds. Finally, it stops. The most brilliant and incisive question I've ever heard. As a reward for your bullshit pedantry, I will predict all four of your questions! Wow, Apple Shan. You were such an asshole that you broke the fortune teller. Nice! <laughs> Ding in, says the fortune teller. You are going to ask for the exact time and manner of your own death so you could do stupid risky shit without fear of dying. Damn. I'm a great I'm great at asking questions. Not as great as Milo, says the fortune teller. They were going to ask for the secret to eternal life. Like because I'm tired of working on weekends. It would be nice to just put death on pause every once in a while, you know? Whatever. That's really just a rip-off of my question. I mm -hmm. bet Cal's was way better. Calculaster's question is a doozy, says the fortune teller. He wants to know what it will take to finally put an end to racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia. That's just so much pain in the world. Okay, so 
We've got a, my super right question and two dumb loser questions. What are the answers? Answers, says the fortune teller. Maybe I wasn't clear. You got one question. One. Apple Shat used it to find out what you all wanted to know. You mean we could have learned the secret to the world peace and then instead Apple Shat used this opportunity to ask a useless meta question. Honestly, says the fortune teller. Are you guys surprised? I've only known her for three minutes, and this seems completely on brand for her. <laughs> hey, speaking of her, what does she want to know? Oh no. <laughs> oh, says the fortune teller. She was going to ask when that embarrassing rash on and around her genitals would finally go away. Oh my god. Hmm? Cool. <laughs> As your friends make their excuses and slowly back away from you, you protest that you have no such rash. When you check later, though, it turns out that you totally do. What a way to find out! You lose minus two charm and minus one boldness. <laughs> Alright. Why are Let we all doing see. so bad? Why is this game so much harder than the first game? <laughs> is my fun at seven? I think it's yes. at seven. Okay. You are super fun, Ed. I'm very fun. I'm not that bold, but I can't go to the bold place. Let me see. You're somewhat smart. That's cool. Yeah. I feel <laughs> like we learn that we need to have more than five to get these right. <laughs> that still yeah. sucks though. I'm like, hey, I started. Just let me love you. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. if it was less than five. That would make sense, but five seems like a good amount that you should get something yeah. right on the first turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got HQ or the woods. The and the woods is smarts and Okay. I guess so. I don't know. Sure, let's go to the woods. That day in the woods you find a mysterious portal to an unknown dimension. Whoa! You're not so stupid that you jump into it yourself, this time. So you decide to tie a chipmunk to a string and put it in there. No! You pull the chipmunk back, expecting it to be dead or at least warped by the interdimensional travel, but it turns out whatever is on the other side of that portal taught the chipmunk calculus and some very cogent arguments about gender and identity. You and the chipmunk have a long, insightful conversation, and he helps you with your summer school homework. You oh, now my smarts. smarts is at seven. I see how this works. Now you're a smarty pants. <laughs> mm-hmm. Afterwards, you're meeting with <gasps> my girl. Julia and Milo. Joy and Milo are trying to have a very con insightful conversation about the practical value of tragic literature. But a loud nearby crunching noise is totally killing the vibe. <laughs> The crunching yeah. Okay, Dahlia, what are you eating? I thought I told you that chewing on the bones of your enemies is choking hazard. <laughs> I'm not choking on anything. I'm eating these berries I found a minute a few minutes ago. They were so colorful and bright and full of possibilities. Oh my god. Ah, uh, much like your future, darling. Huh? <laughs> Wait, how do you know those berries aren't poisonous? I guess I don't. Well, the only way to know for sure would be to eat all of them and see if I get poisoned. Mm. That is literally the worst method I can think of to solve this. Milo, back me up here. But I like Delia's go-getter attitude. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Ugh, you're both hopeless. I guess I'll just have to save the day again. Off the clock, might I add. Hey, the real profit is knowing you did the right thing. Just Hi, Phoebe! Me... Hello! Yeah. Hey, Gabe! Just like- Oh! Oh, um, mm hmm. I actually don't know if these are poisonous, either. Hmm. Well, this is awkward. Does anyone have any ideas on how to identify these? Dahlia raises her hand. Ugh. Besides eating them? Milo raises her hand. Enough of this. Or doing an Instagram poll. 
Everyone puts their hands down. Looks like it's all up to you now. Do you have any ideas? An Instagram poll is a pretty good idea, actually. <laughs> um, find some besotted lovers in the woods and tragically murder one of them. If the other one tries to eat your berries, they've they're definitely poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> Check the Wrong berries. Way. Yelp reviews. Oh no. <laughs> um. Which one sounds smart? Would it be smart? Or smart fun? Then? You're looking for something that's smart or fun. Uh. Well. The first one. I can't tell if that's like creative or. Or creative. if it's smart. Yeah, it sounds creative. I don't know what the Yelp review is. I think the Yelp is smart because it's actually asking people, but it is just a review I think it's like. Bold. Oh. Bold, maybe. Up bold to you, smart. homie. Bold or creative, but I don't have either one of those. <laughs> uh. I guess I'm gonna answer the first one because I like it better. <laughs> I don't really know. Sure. Damn it! Uh, are you sure? I don't feel super comfortable just murdering some random innocent strangers in the woods. Too much talking. Dolly is hungry and we can't waste time. You follow the sounds of the conversation to find a man and a woman sitting in a nearby clearing. Oh! Oh no! You the consequences the of my actions! <laughs> You open the poison detection kit, pull out your poison detection Glock, and off the man. Oh my god. No! cries the woman. My platonic friend Mark! Why would you do that, you sick bastard? Oh, I think this has all been a huge misunderstanding. We were looking to off one half of a pair of desperate lovers. Sorry. But, you know, every mistake is an opportunity to grow. I kinda hate you, Milo. <laughs> such I an love asshat. It. I love them even more. <laughs> Are you I like how hands? their nails change along with their heart when they're with their emotions. And their eyes. Yeah. And their earrings. Oh, yeah. isn't that really? Are you serious? Oh wait, I still have the freaking anime costume on. I, he doesn't have they don't have ear earrings. Uh What? You assume just because Mark and I were a man and a woman we had to be dating? Oh, this is just the kind of bullshit heteronormative thinking that makes discourse between genders all but impossible. Oh my god. Uh, what? Oh, babe, don't look! <laughs> <laughs> it means get bit, douchebags! She storms off. You definitely feel like an asshole now, but the real question is that you still don't know whether or not Dahlia's berries are, berries are poisonous. Uh, you know, I don't think I really care about that right now. My main concern is whether or not you think this is a date, Prisid. What? Breed, as someone with an ambiguous gender identity myself, I can't just assume that every interaction I have with anyone is a potential date. Nor do I want to. Worst episode ever. Yeah, being a murderer is one thing, but a creepy murder like but a creepy murderer is a step too far. Come on, guys. They leave. They take the berries with them too. They don't leave you any to off yourself with in order to escape this embarrassing situation. God damn it. Ooh, Ouch. Bummer. You lose what? minus two fun and minus one smarts. We're okay, so, so that didn't this. hurt me too bad. Let's trade places. Everyone choose something good. Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Something Coffee. good. Ooh. Um, dogs. A bottle of coke. Cola. Pop Coca-Cola. Um... <laughs> the coke Cocaine. for investing, not the coke for your nose. Bunnies! Bunnies! Player order is decided based on your ability to come up with a compelling title for a movie about the thing. Start debating now. God, that's a lot a of pressure. Movie? Oh, I actually had a title for that. For coffee, but... <laughs> yeah? I just don't want to make a comic called, um... Coffee tea plus three. Aww. It was about three girls in the apartment, and every episode was gonna have um, coffee or tea in it. Aww, yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of It is. 
<laughs> I want Sharon to win first place for that. Both yeah. We'll give Sharon first. Okay. Movie title about bunnies, Warren. It's a bad hair day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Bad hair day. A bottle of coke. Let's see. That just seems like a documentary. <laughs> uh. Fucking coke do for you. No. It's the rust off of everything. I Fizz thought addiction. of. Fizz addiction. <laughs> I thought of, uh, Doggy Done It. Doggy oh. Done It! Doggy Done It! <laughs> That's awesome, you. Second. Uh, second for me? Yes. Okay. Doggy Done It! And, and Warren obviously wins third for, uh... Alright. And I win, win last. Wherever I go, it'll be Yeah, banana! Yeah, God, banana. I missed that suck. Uh... <laughs> What does this one do? No! You spend all day trying to learn how to use the North Star to know your location and never get lost. It's a fierce challenge and everybody gets like super lost. You say fuck it and try to text the North Star to ask for directions. Maybe no one never asked? Of course this achieves nothing. It's a star and you should stop trying to resort to sheer absurdity to solve your problems. You get no badge, no one does, but it was all a trick test and it wasn't even nighttime. The coach awards you with plus two creativity for your lateral thinking. <laughs> You've almost died like three times this week, so you decide to tag along with Cla Calculus here in Aravi to listen to one of Coach's scout lessons on survival. Yay, learning! Oh, who's this? The oh, coach! coach. <laughs> 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 Once Go you crap. Once you've got the hyena in submission, hold, hold. You use the comb to lower it to sleep, and then, kids, it's how you survive a hyena attack only using a hair comb. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm. <laughs> All right, <please. laughs> I got uh, <laughs> Never thought about literally putting an enemy to sleep. I always thought it, that was just a euphemism for murdering them. Good to know. I agree, friend Aravi. Personally, I do not own a hair comb because I do not possess hair follicles. But I still found the lesson quite informative. Did somebody say pizza? Yeah, yeah, we all learned a ton. Whatevs. Hey, coach, can we talk about scout cookies now? I'm starting to get a real case of the munchies over. Mmm, oh ah, yes! Cat. I know you kids have been working really hard on your cookie selling batch. Let's check in on the sales numbers. I'll construct my trusty, reliable clipboard. You're not getting bad. Hmm, hmm, um, hmm. Well, Scouts, <laughs> our cookie sales have been slightly horrible. It seems like the entire trip has sold one box of cookies total. Oh, oh, gosh. oh dear. I that is far below historical average sales tends for a troop of our size. Coach, does this mean that you are no longer proud of us? Monster Scouts <laughs> What oh of course not. I am always proud of you, Scouts. And hey, it's not over yet, kiddos. You kids are smart. You'll figure out some way to get those cookies stolen. I believe you. Wow, I have been specifically motivated by Coach's positive attitude, and now I will. I wish to sell a maximum possible amount of Scout cookies, friends. Will you assist me? It's a good test of our abilities. If we're ever going to run a successful food truck together, we better be able to sell a few cookies, right? Right? No. <laughs> Whoa, you guys. Creative genius moment. Remember the other day when we were talking about potential mascots for the food truck? What if we got a cookie mascot to help sales? <laughs> Awkward. Awkward.
Food brands have mascots. So Cheetos has Chester Cheetah. M&M's has the horny green M&M. &M. <laughs> play has Yogano, the evil yogurt demon. No, they don't. <laughs> what a helpful suggestion. I am revealing my memory logs from our brainstorming session last week. It seems that our best mascot idea was Foodie, the food truck ghost. Hmm, a mascot would be pretty kick-ass, but I don't think Foodie is a good fit for scout cookies. Any other ideas for a mascot? Sadly, I do not have any other ideas. I attempted to search the internet for the keyword mascot. But 97% of the images resulted were classified as pornography. That was that's way more helpful than I usually am. Give me a cookie. Looks like your friends are all out of ideas. Luckily, you know the perfect way to get inspiration for a kick-ass cookie mascot. A cookie was a good mascot. <laughs> So the wild mascots live in the woods around camp. If you can catch one, you can tame it and train it to be the perfect mascot. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'm not bold or charming or I know. Most recognizable. Iconography. Thank you. Look to the scriptures. That's probably a smart answer. Yeah, that's probably smart. Which I think uh, would be this safe. Is a creative thing, though, isn't it? I mean, Whoa. smarts and creativity are both six. Yeah, you just want to pick whatever set stat is highest on your card. Didn't mean to hit that one. Fuck. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hit that one. Ah! Set up a bear trap. You bait it with some cookies, hoping you'll catch a cute, marketable mascot. It's just no. Laurel. You're going to catch Laurel. Later. Oh, that's sweet. Hours later, you return, and there's an animal caught in the trap. A colorful, cartoonish animal. Oh my god. Is mascot of Monster Scout Cookies? Yay! Hey. <laughs> Raspy, terrifying voice. It's me! Happy, happy, the heroin horse. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, my rotting hose, kids! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> um, horse. what? Did you just say that you're a heroin horse? What the actual fuck is that? <laughs> Why, I'm a mascot! <laughs> you see, I used to be an animal mascot for heroin-based cough syrup. Before the government illegalized, heroin is a cursed cure for the common cold. <laughs> Those were the good old days. You should have heard the crowd screaming when I used to say my famous catchphrase. Heroin syrup, you'll get addicted to never coughing again. It is reassuring to hear that you have previous mascot experience. Would you be open to an opportunity to be the face of Monster Scout Cookies? I feel it's a no. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sort of between mascot gigs right now. Once the syrup dried up, I got left in the woods to die. And none of the heroin <laughs> dealers I've talked to want a cartoon mascot. <laughs> Just one thing though, I gotta get paid up front, and instead of getting paid with money, I need to get paid in heroin based cough syrup. Oh no! <laughs> no. By the way, you kids ever thought about putting some heroin in those cookies of yours? Heroin is the cure to the common cold and really gets your customers hooked. Oh my god, I have power. <laughs> 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 Guys, I think that happy, happy the heroin horse is gonna be a good fit for us. Nothing personal, but he's like. Obviously addicted to heroin. I am disappointed. I agree, Hex. Monster Scout cookies only contain healthy ingredients, and heroin is generally considered to be an unhealthy for humans to consume. How disappointing. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick it out till we get to the next thing. Cool. Ugh, there was so a huge waste of time. Let's get out of here, Cal. Yabana, yeah, this whole disaster was your idea, so you'll deal with the heroin horse, right? Nope. Your friends leave you alone with happy ho happy. <laughs> I'm glad they're gone. They were party poopers anyway. 
What do you say, kid? Should we have some fun? Oh, that's drug dealing. No, thank you. I got along with a bottle of heroin based cough syrup upon me. Expired 52 years ago. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> no thanks. No. <laughs> yeah, no. You take happy, 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 happy center. It takes a whole day, which means you didn't even sell a single cookie, you idiot. You lose minus Aww. two fun and minus one boldness. God, no. Kind of, sort of smart. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right. We back. are, we are cool. dying. <laughs> we will find love. Okay, well, Ooh. I want boldness, which is the manner, right? Forever. So I'm going here. <laughs> we'll we'll wait for Laurel though. Okay, dokie. So how's everyone? Uh, I'm pretty good, except I had a headache all day. Oof. Oh no. Been Just there, done that. I think I might- it might have been a stress headache, and I'm pretty sure, as lame as this sounds, it's because my hair is all frizzy from dyeing it, so uh, I'm like stressed about it now. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. But I think if I use some like, <clears throat> hair repair sh uh, conditioner, it should be okay. <laughs> Ooh, eggnog frappuccinos. Eggnog is one of those things where it's like, you can like it, but still go like, this is a little gross. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like eggnog, but I'm <laughs> impressed that you made them at home, Gabe. Has anyone else grown up th being told that eggnog always has booze in it? Yes. Okay. I know they bought like oh. egg. My grandmother used to drink it because her birthday used to be um Christmas Eve. So when she was alive, she'd always buy eggnog, but she'd make sure to have a different one <laughs> so we could <laughs> drink it. Because I mean, I've never been told that by like family, but on TV they would always treat eggnog like it was some kind of alcohol yeah beverage. because like. In cartoons, they can't actually have alcohol, so they would, like, use that as a substitute so they could still joke about alcohol. Yeah, like, for the longest time, I was like, oh, yeah, you, you to make eggnog, you have to have, have booze in it. And, and, it was, and then someone's like, no, no, why are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good, though. We're gonna get um, our eggnog latte at Starbucks again. Mm -hmm. The holidays. I assume so. Gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just an egg milk drink. Yeah, and that's cinnamon and nutmeg. <laughs> that's why I don't. I, I don't know. I just don't like like how thick and how it smells and the. <laughs> it's it's like weird that. to me. <laughs> that thick milk. Thick. Shag nog. Thick. Shag nog. Well, I'm sure uh, that would taste good to someone who likes eggnog. Because <laughs> it's mixing cinnamon with eggnog. Yeah, it tastes awesome. To me, at least. Mm -hmm. But, it's like... <laughs> I I only drink it around Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and then I used to get freaked out because I would still see eggnog the alcoholic one in liquor stores like, during the year. And I'm like, that's old, isn't it? Is that <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> um, I think since Laurel's gone, I'm actually gonna, like, you know, grab my dessert and whatnot. Okay. So I will cool. be right back. <laughs> and then there was two. <laughs> Do you like jalapenos? Hmm. And cheese, I do. Ah, awesome. <laughs> I mean, the jalapeno sandwich, the other one that was left from Wendy's. I was like, I really hope the mic isn't picking up me unwrapping the foil. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome, because I was just like, between. You go to the Haunted Manor to gain some boldness, since you found a brochure that promised some boldness if you visited. Why do you use over time? Aaron wants to go get dessert. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. The days of our lives. Was it up? I don't know. Oh, no. Laurel. What? Do you like jalapenos? Eh, not really. Ah! <gasps> Warren, you knew that. <laughs> I mean, kind of. I don't know. Don't they like a, a spicy pepper? It's not that I don't like spicy things, it's just that, you know, I don't really like them as a food. I, I don't mind the flavor, it's just that it's... It's not my favorite thing. I gotcha. Mm. Like how people can sometimes eat, like, maybe coconut flavor things, but hate coconut. Uh. Mm. Do you hate coconut? Cause then... <laughs> I also don't like coconut. Uh, flaky flake. <laughs> How dare. <laughs> Coconut's amazing. Okay, I'm back. Mm. Uh, I have a question for Gabe. Who is your favorite character so far of who you've seen in this game? Um, anyway. Continue, Laurel. <laughs> yep. You go to the haunted manor to gain some boldness since you found a brochure that promised some boldness if you visited. Fuck Instead, yeah. you find a mischievous demon. It was all a ruse to lure you here. The demon will take nine years of your life. Oh. You take the demon to court for <laughs> advertising. The jury isn't fond of mischievous demons who fool people into giving years of their life up, so you win and the demon has to give you plus two boldness. Fuck yeah. You're minding your own business, smelling people, when Dahlia <laughs> drags you to the lakeshore. You were doing what? <laughs> Just smelling people? I was smelling people? Wait, what? <laughs> yep. That's... There you are, Prince Ed. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock skipping technique. Innocent. Dahlia skips a rock straight upwards. It disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock, or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor! It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. <laughs> yes! The ultimate campfire! Quick, tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly! <laughs> You're about to tell her the one about the horny summer camper who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. I'm not doing this one. Oh. Let's do it. Greetings. Oh, yes. <laughs> Says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Carlo, <laughs> Herald of Summer. Oh. Carlo. Carlo, it's an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock skipping technique? I am here on a much more important errand. Says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. <clears throat> I have grown weak as of late due to the lack of worship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me and train my power. I need you to... <laughs> Destroy them! <laughs> I'll do it! Noble... <laughs> noble what? Noble hot man! I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, Herald of Spring. He's in Florida. Good luck! A Florida man. <laughs> I make my own look out of blood. BLOOD! Moments later you're face to face with Vern. It turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. What? <laughs> What's up, bros? Says Vern, while shotgunning a hard seltzer and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me on behalf of that nerd, Carlo. Yes, and also to get a tan! A good tan is critical for the best summer ever! Oh, why are you <laughs> Says Vern, doing three keg stands at once by the grace of his divine might. Suck my Easter eggs, losers. 
Rude. No one can defeat me, he says. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Game's like taking loader or taking longer to load when I push enter. Let me see about that. It so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Okay. Allergies. <laughs> Remind him that spring is just the lame opening act for summer. Oof. Um. Well, boldness or smarts, right? Yeah. I, I think allergies would be bold because it's in all caps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Um, this one sounds like smarts. I right? think that sounds like fun. Really? Okay. I'll try allergies. We're what? Six isn't good enough. Well, then none of my stats were good enough. Sending a picture of his nuts to the Supreme Court. You're really oh. gonna come at me at the Herald of Spring with allergies as your weapon? Oh. Don't laugh. We also brought regular weapons. <laughs> I don't care what you brought, bro, says Vern, making some complex hand gestures. You're about to get histamine, bitches. Oh. What? What's this? Itchy eyes? Runny nose? Has my own beautiful face betrayed me? No! Basically, oh. says Vern. I'm an allergy bender, and I just made you allergic to <laughs> pollen. Enjoy never going outside, nerd! Allergy uh. bender? <laughs> <laughs> what? But outside is where all the summer activities are! How will I ever have the best summer ever now? I cannot allow myself to have such a weakness. If my enemies learn of this, they will construct f uh, fiendish pollen-type arrows to strike me down. Tip. Come on, Prince Anne. We must leave at once to form a battle plan. Talia grabs it's... your wrist in that bone-crushing way you like, but withdraws Hell it yeah. Suddenly. It's covered in hives. What? Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> says Vern, taking off his shirt while somehow also popping his collar. I also made you aller allergic to Prince Ed. <gasps> oh dear. No! And look, they have hives too. Did you make them allergic to me? No. What do I look like, a fucking scientist? I made Prince Ed allergic to Prince Ed too. Now get out of here. I've got chicks coming over. My god. You flee, defeated. Dahlia looks at you sadly. <clears throat> You're unsuited for the rage of war. It seems we must part ways, Prince Ed. My attachment to you is not as strong as my allergic reaction. Okay, bye! <laughs> Goodbye, Princess. <laughs> oh, you stopped. This is so sad. Face, I know! God, we're just getting face. destroyed. I will probably be never. You have invested by the forces of spring, and your great shame robbed you of minus two charm and minus one creativity. We're just sucking eggs. It's so bad. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> we have not gotten a single good thing. I love okay. This he's taking a picture of his nuts to send a court. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a typical bloody camp going battle royale. While you're hiding to catch a breath, a severed fist thrives through the air and lands in your lap. You unfold it. The fist was holding a tarnished silver locket containing the photo of a loved one, likely waiting for the hand's former owner to return home safely. Oh! You toss that behind you and also find a crumpled coupon redeemable for plus two charm at Pedro's Pastrami Paradise. Heck yeah. Rad! Thanks, mysterious hand. That's the thing, though. It's- you're not- you're vegetarian, Warren. You can't. <laughs> Afterwards, you get peer pressured into a game of Capture the Flag EXTREME! You're really bad at it, and end up in jail pretty much immediately. That's okay, though. Jail is just a chalk square drawn on the ground, and given some of the weapons the other players are carrying, it's probably the safest space you can be. Milo and Calculus are already in jail. Maybe you can convince them to de ditch this game and eat marshmallows or something. Hello, fellow inmate. What are you in for? Don't mind him. He's been like this since they put him in here. 
It's pretty good content. <laughs> Prison has changed me, Watermelon. <laughs> Would you God, like to crazy. trade me some cigarettes in exchange for my fundamental dignity? Yes or space. no? Share your idea. Re bailing on this dumb exercise and executing a marshmallow heist. No, no, no. Can you imagine what it would do to my brand if I was caught cheating at a game? Undermining the laws of reality, subverting life and death. That's the kind of stuff my followers expect. But cheating? No way. Mm -hmm. As for me, friend, I have been on the inside for long. I do not think I can ever go back to society. Wow. <laughs> Besides, the real prison here is the prison of negative thinking, you know? No, you don't know, nor do you agree. But if your fellow prisoners insist that this is a real jail, you'll just have to orchestrate a real jailbreak. Okay. But I'm just prison so the, the masses clamor for your freedom. Prison is all about who you know. You should get to know the dude, Michael, in the corner. He's been trapped there for three years, so he must know no, something. No, 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 not Michael! Michael! <laughs> <sighs> Frick. Now I'm just Michael in the corner. <laughs> so the first one's probably charm, right? That's what I'm hoping for. I'm really hoping it's charm and not. And that's some like making a smart social media uh, campaign. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I think charms your only good one because boldness is yeah, clearly six is not good enough either. Yeah. <sighs> you you should get to know that dude. I don't... <sighs> what what would this well, guess... what would this the bottom <laughs> one be? Getting to know someone. I don't know. Um, Frick. Would it be fun, maybe? Or bold? Oh, because yeah. it's Michael Myers. Okay. Yee! Finally! We finally got a good result! <laughs> you compose an emotional narrative about how you all have been victimized by the sports industrial complex. Plus your fingers were crossed when you were tagged, so it doesn't count. Oh, let me help. How about this for the last line? Though we are imprisoned in chalk jail, we are free in our hearts. But our hearts are also imprisoned in chalk jail. May I <laughs> You have a perfectly captured my struggle, friend Milo. Shall I artificially extend our social media reach? My second cousin is a Chinese boat nut. Working together, the three of you managed to whip up a firestorm of outrage over your tragic plight. Soon, your chalky cell is surrounded by protesters, weeping and tearing at their clothes, overwhelmed by the injustice of your situation. Fingers crossed, but at what cost? They chant. Several people go on hunger strikes. They pass out from hunger. It's only been an hour. <laughs> Milo, due to their intense media savvy, gets interviewed by a popular online publication. You know, I just think that what we really need to focus on here is all the people out there in chalk jails who aren't oh. being talked about. This is about them. Does that mean <laughs> you do not want me to continue hyping your social media accounts and connection with this terrible indignity friend, Milo? What? No, keep doing that, obviously. How are we supposed to have an appreciable impact on the culture if I'm not famous? <laughs> Eventually, the mass masses of protesters outside your cell reach critical mass. The chairman of the National Capture the Flag Extreme Association issues a statement. The sport of Capture the Flag Extreme stands for teamwork, dignity, and cartoonish violence. Unjust imprisonment, imprisonment has no place in our organization. Effective immediately, I am abolishing Chalk Jail. Let all those wrong <laughs> run free. Success achieved. Hooray! We are free. I suppose I will not be needing the brew I was brewing inside my chest ca captivity. 
Okay, so we now know seven is good enough. <laughs> 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 and probably next round it's gonna be eight. <laughs> oh no. Does it go up? I'm guessing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna be alone in this game. <laughs> but we're gonna be able to get drinks next. Oh, I yes! failed with Dahlia yes! twice. <laughs> Day, you get lost hiking in the woods. You use the stars, aka nature's compass, to get back to camp. The stars actually all teach you all sorts of things, like how one of the stars in Orion's belt is actually a nebula. The stars also teach you Italian, the quadratic formula, and the true meaning of friendship. <laughs> wow, the stars sure are smart, and they give you plus two smarts. You've spent the last five minutes following Damien around <laughs> here in Italy with his exciting exploits, but staring at his butt more than you're actually listening. <laughs> and that's why I can never go back to Rome, and why I have beef with all of the village people, except for the cop, which is weird because in real life I often punch cops. Brad, and, oh, I should have showed you the badge he sent, af sent me after I sent him a video of me singing YMCA while burning down the... A series of YMCA's. I can never find anything in my camp bag. My dad sent me with so much extra stuff. I can't imagine I ever need. Ugh, I'd ever need while camping. I mean, a tent, a sleeping bag, a compass. When do I ever use any of that? Oh wait, what's this? It looks like a flashlight, but instead of a light bulb, there's just a flesh, fleshy little opening mouth. My <laughs> Dad's put that in there for him? <laughs> My dad's wants to put this in the air for me. But why? Oh no. Oh dear. You think that maybe while the LeVays were packing Damien's equipment, they dropped some uh, equipment of their own by complete accident. Camper. Is it maybe a utensil? It has a mouth. Maybe I'm supposed to use supposed to use the pre chew my food before pouring it into my mouth. Oh, honey, no. No! You can't traumatize Damien by telling him he found his dad's sex toy. <laughs> think of non eating usage and fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> you want to go with creativity, probably, or possibly charm? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't like I this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love this choice. It's definitely a flashlight. It's just a very rare flashlight and nothing else. <laughs> I think uh, I'm gonna go with the first one. <laughs> yeah, the first one sounds more right. Not so charming. It, <laughs> oh, a pocket friend. Of all the flashlight shaped things in the pocket can contain, a friend is one of the most badass. Friends are the most are almost as metal as enemies. Damien presses the buttons on the flashlight and the mouth begins to move and vibrate. <laughs> oh my god. Speak up, friend. I can't hear you. <laughs> You're emotionally <laughs> validating me. Oh, no. Damien presses more buttons, and to your eternal surprise, the friend does indeed begin to talk. But it's what kind oh of my it god. limited. Yeah, <sighs> What? No, I'm not. How dare you? I'm the best boy. I'm the number one demon son. I am not naughty. Are naughty though, Damien? Oh no. No. I said no. Do not argue with me, you stupid fuck hammer. <laughs> what? Give it to me, big boy. Give you what? My lunch money? You can't be my friend. If you're going to bully me for my lunch money, that's it. I... What I do to my friends is not what friends do to me. I'm crying. Oh no, no. I'm crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do them. What? Was that pocket friend just hitting on me this whole time? Was it nagging me? Lame. That's such a fucking bummer. 
I hate when people follow me around and pretend to be my friend, but they're really just trying to get in my tight demon pants. Okay. <laughs> Anyone who wants sex with me better tell me right off the bat. I'm sure you think the same way, because we're such good friendly buds, right pal? Such good platonic friends. <laughs> Damien's bummed out by the pocket friend's betrayal, and you're bummed that you haven't revealed your true motives to Damien earlier. Because apparently he's now going to view you as a deceptive creep with ulterior motives. Which you are, but you re try really hard not to act actively acknowledge it. The sudden reminder of your skis robs you of minus one, two fun and minus one creativity. I guess. Oh, fun fact, oh. that's an actual product. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I found it when I was an animal. Once. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I will choose a vampire bat. I choose a bear. 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 Funny. <laughs> Sharon, did you say goat? Chinchilla. Oh, chinchilla. Player order is decided based on how plausible it would be for you to convince a pack of those animals to make you their pack leader. I so, mean... Yeah. I mean... Mm -hmm. I know nothing They're about funny. chinchillas besides they're funny. super fluffy. <laughs> Damn it, I should have chosen dog again! <laughs> what did you choose? I chose vampire bat. Oh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> I nice. probably wouldn't have much luck with the vampire bats. Chinchillas are like rooms. Not very smart. Easy uh, to lead into a pack. Leader, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there, so I get I I would be perfect, and also I'm already their leader. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think buddies would also be. Not that hard to lead. Bunnies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could be the prince vampire. of the vampire bats, but... Um... I don't know. I don't know enough about them. <laughs> I don't know shit about the jobs. <laughs> I just like them a lot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sit with these fuckers, even though I everything. <laughs> Which Although one are you aiming sit. for? Kinda I hard want to Calculester, sit. but I en it ended up pairing me with Damien again. Well, Calculester and Damien are sitting together, so you can sit with both of them. Yes, but I wonder what the empty bench does. I don't know. Well, this 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 game has been trashed, so the time to experiment is now. <laughs> I'm sitting on the internet. Is nigh. You sit on a log by yourself. Look at you, avoiding romance in a dating sim. <laughs> now, the suspense. Will you remain forever alone, or will someone else take pity on you? The mystery. So close to sleep time. Damn! Damn it! Oh, sit with me, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> you sit with Apple Chat. I mean, really, they should date. <laughs> You weren't about to let them be alone during the campfire. You had a nice conversation about your biggest dreams and fears. Flamingos were heavily mentioned, but we won't disclose if they were part of the dreams or the fears part of the conversation. Hmm? <laughs> you both gained plus two fun and Oh! Woo! That's so awesome. happy. Like a camp bus. So happy. Boss man! Mm, yes! Hey, Nambany! Welcome to the log, whatever. Sorry, I'm just a little irritated. Boris the babbling blood monster was sitting here earlier. He promised me to give me some awesome gossip, but all he had was the coach's first name. As if this information anyone is desperate or not to hear. I need some real gossip. Please tell me you got some. If Moss Man wants it's gossip he'll get. Time to lie your ass off to get the best reaction possible. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Solomon Gold is a good girl. Uh, playing Beethoven to Symphony on a kazoo. Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> Are you straightening your cup? Uh, okay. Where is yeah. my kazoo? A coo. coo. Uh, skateboarding down yeah, Sleeping Dragon's back. Beethoven! Choose one. Strapless, backless, frontless dress. Oh what? my god. Skirt? No, uh -huh. wait. 
Mosquito tuxedo. No. Greasy McDonald bag. <laughs> or cowboy astronaut suit. Cowboy mosquito astronaut tuxedo. suit. Ah. Too late, mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> Tuxedo. Type in something that a 12 year old might want for their birthday. Talk about this. In this day and age, V Bucks. <laughs> v Bucks. Oh, I was gonna go off of me. You're in so sixth right. Grade, which the Wii. Manga! Yep. No! Mm, now that's some great gossip now, and Anne, my spirits have been lifted. Hope you don't mind if I go through absolutely everyone what you just said. Yeah, absolutely. Go for it, friend. <laughs> Friends circulate the gossip quickly, and within minutes, someone approaches you. Oh my gosh, hey. she's cute! Hey, have you heard about the time Water Malone competed in a beauty pageant last year? Werewolf. The competition was insane. Water Malone wore their sexiest outfit, a mosquito tuxedo. The judges were totally disgusted. <laughs> Water Malone advanced to the talent show next, where they showed off their skills by playing Beethoven's Fifth Symphony on kazoo. Backwards! The crowd went nuts! Then in the final round, the judges asked every contestant the same question. If you became president, what would you give all citizens to end income inequality? Some contestants promised money. Others said they'd give away houses or vacations. But for some reason, Water Malone answered, A lifetime supply of mango. <laughs> The judges hated that answer, and Water Malone took first place in the pageant. I'd bear that I in mind her. if I were you, because if, as we all know, a beauty pageant is the truest judge of a person's character. Water Malone's reputation will never be the same. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry! Oh, no! I'm so sorry! I didn't know that's what I would do! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah. Rumors can't, can't hurt... <laughs> Of course! <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're about to kill by the campfire when you see two beautiful angels. Oh wait, that's just Dolly and Mile Ho. Oh, Prince Ed, come over here. I'm giving Dolly a crash course in social media marketing, and we could use a note taker. Now, Dolly, I've completed an audit for your social feeds, and frankly, I've noticed a lot of room for improvement. Metaphorically speaking, you're still in a digital cocoon. And I'm going to feed you metaphorical leaves until you form a metaphorical chrysalis and emerge a metaphorical butterfly of new media. <laughs> Violet, you're one of my most trusted advisors. Mainly because you remind me of an owl. People who- well, people with owl energy are very wise. <laughs> but I just don't get it. What- <laughs> what is- eh. What does my hell Twitter, that's a thing, be had to do with my ultimate goal of conquering the eighth circle of hell and declaring myself queen of eternal? Dahlia, if you want to be queen, that means that your reputation is more important than ever. You have to project a compelling brand image to garner political clout. For example, you're using Twitter to stan Ariana Grande and follow Liam's insufferable feed. But you could also use Twitter to gain new followers for your army. Are they allowed to name people like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are they? <laughs> I can use hell Twitter to get like to gather followers. Awesome! I thought you could only do that with like by taking over territories with brutal crushing force. This is way more efficient. It's over, guys. Let's do this thing. Make me a media butterfly or whatever. Perf, I think it's time for a total brand refresh. How about we reintroduce you as a fitness influencer? You'll just have to promote protein powders two or three times an hour. An hour? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> I can post about my daily workout regimen, killing something bigger than me. I know I'm done. I like, I know I'm done when I'm holding a skull in my hand. That might be a little off-putting to some demographics. Remember, we want people to connect with your brand. Maybe we can introduce a relatable hobby. Do you crochet? <laughs> yeah, how did you know? I can really harvest the intestines of my defeated enemies to crochet oh my... <laughs> Which I use to trap more enemies. Now that's relatable hashtag content. Okay, yikes. <laughs> on a few levels. Maybe we should just focus on the basics. 
How about a regular live stream schedule so your fans can get to know you? Uh, oh, live streaming. I love live streaming my enemies. That's when you stream <laughs> so you stream the life <laughs> out of someone by slowly draining all the blood, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, Milo. I can't wait to pin my block list to my wall for some like for some live streaming. Oh no. <laughs> not only are those two not on the same page, they're probably not in the same book. And Dahlia's book is probably made of flesh. Time for a suggestion of your own. <laughs> what? Um, Dahlia's most mysterious and alluring trait is the silent H in her name. Start planting silent H's here and there for no reason. People will be caught off guard. Dahlia's brand is intensity. From now on, only tweet in all caps. People will love it. They will love it. Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure this is Dahlia because it's in all caps. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Gabe, I like both Milo and Dahlia, but I'm definitely into Dahlia. <laughs> oh, cats tweeting? Whoa, that's a genius idea. And it's totally on brand for me because lowercase letters are a side of weakness. <laughs> it's so not a genius idea, you two out of touch ruffians. All well, caps is childish, it accomplishes nothing. <laughs> All caps is a sign of deep passion. It's inarguable. It's, it's powerful. It's the writing style of gods. <laughs> Name one single god who has ever used lowercase letters ever. You can't because uppercase is the best. <laughs> this point, you're just being irresponsible. I'm leaving before you corrupt all my re <laughs> remaining grammatical standards. They're frail enough as it is. Milo leaves and Dahlia starts immediately treating the bunch. Her feet is on now all caps, all the time. Hell yeah. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just tweeted, Can't wait to pillage cities this weekend! <laughs> we'll pillage so hard the smell of death is everywhere! In here, like in here, what do you think of this draft? My fave part of overthrowing kingdoms is killing anyone who doesn't join my demon army. Oops, hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this is a real oh. account. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that tweeting could be so much fun. It's like I could just put my thoughts out there the same way I hear them in my head. Loudly. Dahlia's followers. followers don't seem to mind her all cap style. It's almost like they followed Dahlia because she threatened to kill them or something. Yay! <laughs> oh, Prince Ed, check this out. <laughs> some, <laughs> some egg account just called me obnoxious. <laughs> don't cause me that all the time, so it must mean something good. Oh. Oh, sweetie. Dahlia tweets, I like you, Prince Ed! Which admittedly sounds a lot better in all caps. Nice! Yes! Bring out your blasts! So, I, I, th I believe uh, the freaking lead s the singer of Cure, all his tweets are in all caps. <laughs> Fantastic. Can I right. still be Juan? I love him. Yes, e. of course you can. We loved it. You were all waiting all week for this moment, visiting Juan and getting a good drink. Well, look what the cat dragged in. I have some drinks here for you. It's up to you which one you drink. Let's see what's behind door number one. Ooh, cute. Manhattan. Ooh. What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? Or would you prefer the mystery box? <laughs> I'm taking the Manhattan. Yeah, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed. Your prize is the drink of your choice. Oh, not the bees! <laughs> not the bees! Uh. What, what do you say? Will you drink the fucking bees? Or will you drink the mystery box? Why do they keep giving Warren bad drinks? <laughs> I don't know, he doesn't drink! That's probably why. <laughs> I guess I had to take the box then. What's yeah. in the box? I mean... Oh, okay. It's much better. It's just whiskey. Thank God. <laughs> it's... Whiskey box. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Will you drink these? You know, of the fucking day? Or would you prefer the mystery box? Mystery no. box, fuck oh. these. <laughs> fuck these. Ooh! So, both. March! Bye, kitty. Margarita. Or a mosquito. <laughs> oh, that's like a mojito. Oh, a mojito like a it. mojito. Would you like a minty bloodsucker? <laughs> um. Or would you prefer the box? <laughs> oh God, probably the mosquito is not good, right? No. Don't want to drink a mosquito. Why are you trying to make us drink insects? <laughs> Ooh, average. Good. Average. <laughs> so beverage. average of you. Oh, a beverage. <laughs> It looks like average, so both of you. <laughs> I hope you're happy with it, no refunds. I think that one's a nicer drink than a fucking mosquito. <laughs> mm -hmm. Behold, a potion that looks like whiskey. Its powers, like, its powers to taste and smell like whiskey, nothing else. I have a suspicion that I just made whiskey. <laughs> nothing, nothing happened. Damn it. Clicky clicky. So you wanted to drink a margarita, huh? To think that by drinking a bra like drinking a brain, you absorb it smart is so simplistic. But hey, it's what actually happens. It comes razors at its finest. You wasted! Yay! Yay! Smart! Sometimes you just want to uh, sometimes you just want to blend in with the masses. Not me. I love to stand out. But in any case, for those moments, I created this. The average. It'll average out, uh, average all your stats. <sighs> Maybe one day being average will be, <laughs> will be being the new cool. Who knows? Okay. Oh! Oh Here. no! Oh my god. <laughs> it round everything out. <laughs> oh no! Damn it! Oh, Manhattan! Yeah, I turned an actual location to a drink. It's so fucking concentrated with everyone. Or, yeah, concentrated with everyone. Has the opportunity to gain one extra stat, like, yeah, you know, one extra point to every location. Oh, good. Yay! Oh, we want a location. Yeah. That's fantastic! Yay! This is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. Ciao. Smart as fuck. Everybody choose an animal. Say your choice. Bunny. <laughs> Why do they keep asking us for animals? Uh, hedgehog. Um, da 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 da, da snake. Okay, which would be the most dangerous if it granted opposable thumbs? Snakes. Oh, no, because they don't have hands. I think bears. Cause... Yeah. Could like bears open doors and shit. Crazy shit without them. Yeah, yeah they so they'll be better. <laughs> they'll yeah. be better. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess hedgehogs wouldn't be too dangerous with thumbs. Same with bunnies. I think that'd be the cutest thing is a snake with little thumbs coming out. <laughs> just, just thumbs and nothing else. <laughs> and then uh, bunnies or hedgehogs? Probably hedgehogs because they have spikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would make a snake crawl fast. <laughs> he's dragging himself off the bridge. Yeah, oh, okay. at least so, you get plus one everywhere. So, I get plus one everywhere. Oh, you so, do? Uh, okay. I'm not sure if it's just to I just noticed everyone else brought a, a tent, but the freaking zombie dude brought an RV. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, actually. I'd rather sleep in an RV. Mmm. So, what do I do now? Uh, whatever you want, boo. Should I go for what I have the most of, or should I go for the ones that I have the least of? The least, probably, but like, um... Yeah, yeah, probably the least. Because you want to improve your stats. Yes. Um, so I'm going but you also want to base it off of who you're going for, I think. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't. Taffy Luster's smarts. Smarts, yeah. Yeah. 
So I have six in the smarts category. Uh, excuse me. And as we've seen, six is not good enough. <laughs> Smart by anyone's standards, I guess. <clears throat> that day, you find while hiking through the woods, you find a tree with the words J and S forever carved on it. Aww. Then on another tree, you find J is a liar and a cheating hoe. That's less cute. Then on yet another tree, you find S. I know you banged like twelve people abroad in Europe. Don't dish what you can't take. On the last tree, S stalks is J. It turns out J lives on. Some idiot. Seven, eight, eight, nine, plus three smarts lane. <laughs> <clears throat> Boy, you sure can learn a lot from trees. Great. Okay, books here's of all. a riddle for oh, you. God. What do you get when a sheltered prince, a buff blue murderess, a goth bookworm who's sick of their shit, and a horny motherfucker go on a hike together? The answer is lost. You get lost. Take a break. For the last time, we are not lost. I know how to get back to camp from here. If you guys would just listen to me, I'll lead you back to... Fucking Joy! Lost. Shut up and face reality. We're definitely lost. We've been walking in circles for hours. We've passed that tree like 20 times. Uh, we're in a forest. All of the trees look identical. Nope. No way. I've seen movies. This is the part where we all start arguing and it's off in the madness until the forest witch comes and kills us. A witch is definitely going to kill you if you don't calm the hell down. Hmm. No, for once I think I should hear I think we should hear Damien out. Any survival techniques we could like would be crucial to surviving long marches in the wilderness. Long marches? We've been out here for 30 minutes, tops. Okay, okay. First things first. I need some water before I start having dehydration hallucinations. Good thinking. Oh, it looks like the canteen is empty. What the fuck? <laughs> Damien, chill out. How do you expect me to chill out when we're lost in the forest without any water or food since war chase lounges to, to faint turn <laughs> I don't wanna die surrounded by noobs like you. You are not going to die. We're super close to camp and even closer to at least fresh water like fresher streams. Fresh water streams. Nope. Wolf. Never make it. The solution is obvious. We need to drink our OP. Huh? No! Actually, we really don't. We do! We only have two options here, Joy. If we want to make it out of here alive, we either have to drink our own pee or cut off our hands. What? Beer. Ah, the lesser of two evils. A survival tactic. I know it well. I'm very attached to my fist of the Blue Fury, so I'll stoop to drinking my own urine if my life depends Jesus. on it. Jesus. Guys, if I have to watch you drink your own pee, I'm definitely going to barf. Hey, that's good. Try to barf into a bag or something. We can eat it later, when we start starving to death. No, don't give up, Joy. Maybe if we make the pee, <laughs> make the pee more palatable and keep our morale up, <laughs> we'll slowly die from exposure. I can't. Yeah, you die. Maybe we can make a pee energy drink. Or even a pee based beer. No need. Like, no, we need something that will hydrate us. What about a pee tea? They're only one letter off, anyway. I hate this conversation. <clears throat> now is probably not the time to collect correct Dahlia's spelling. Oh, I have a better idea. What about. Uh, no! Oh. What about a pea boba tea? I love boba tea. Did anyone bring any powder tapio <laughs> tapioca so we can make it into boba pearls? I'm a pro! Hey, I have some. Valerie sold it to me a while ago and assured me it'll be useful if I was dumb enough to get into drinking my own pee for stupid reasons. Uh, it truly baffles me that you two would <laughs> put so much effort into something that is completely unnecessary. Okay, time for like 
time to forage for some flavors enhancing ingredients. Damien, you enjoy get like get to that while I boil the pea. It should only take. Huh? Wait, Dahlia, are you holding a bo a water bottle? Uh, uh yeah, duh. What else am I gonna boil the pea with? My old sweat? That's <laughs> just disgusting. Enough of this. Why can't you just drink your fucking water then? Well, it's a little late for that now, isn't it, Joy? Dahlia's already boiled her pee with it. No turning back now. Plug your nose and get ready to chug. Chug, 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 chug. chug. Uh -oh. You probably only have a few seconds to stop Dumb and Dumber from drinking their own piss. Joy blows chunks. Better think of something fast. Please. Why don't you pee all over it? <laughs> it's still just pee! <laughs> I think I have to do the first one. Pee Dr. Pepper, wow. Pee the Dr. Pepper. Yes! <laughs> Go for it. Go for whatever you need to. Oh! In a moment of genius, you quickly pee on da Damien and Dahlia's pee. There, that should spoil it and make the pee totally under. Oh, fucking nice! Nice! <laughs> now there's even more drinkable. And there's even more pee. So your creativity's at seven, and apparently that wasn't good enough. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking do with this game. Glorious oh, warrior. I knew you would come around. <laughs> I knew you would come around. Oh God, no, I'm not gonna be able to do depending. anything. You're making it worse. You try with all your might to stop peeing, but you haven't been practicing with eagles, and it's basically impossible to stop midstream. Oh my God! Alas, you pee for about 22 more seconds, and everybody is slightly weirded out by how much pee you have inside you. I hate this. Uh, um. <laughs> all right. Um. Time to save my goddamn life in the nightmare nature bullshit. Damien takes a victory sip of oh, pee. No! And immediately spits it out. <laughs> this is pee, it tastes like shit. No, I mean, it doesn't taste like shit. It tastes like piss. <laughs> no! Well, it takes a massive sip of the pee and then does the biggest spit take you've ever seen. Oh, horrible! It does taste like pee. How could this ever have happened? As to spell to erase my own memory. I, I just want to say for the record that I am not surprised at all. And you guys are making it so much worse than this is <laughs> what the spit takes. <laughs> to be fair, their concoction was probably destined to taste like pee because it was made from pee. And oh yeah, you added some more pee to it. So you're really not sure what they expect what you're not really sure what they expect from you. Come on, Damien. It's obvious that <laughs> Apple Shat made our pee taste like pee. What a blast! A betraying jerk! Wanna go grab some beers back at camp? Metal! Let's ditch this loser. I'm actually super thirsty now that I think about it, so a beer would be metal as fuck. I hate you. You guys know how to get back to camp? <laughs> back to camp, arm in arm, seemingly oblivious to one, the fact that they dressed, drank pee, and two, their own wild stupidity. I love it. Well, at least Joy will appreciate your attempt to spoil their pee drinking panic. Not a big bad, but you're still very bad at this. Are you seriously looking at, like, looking to me for a pet on the head? You just helped them drink pee. You gave them more pee to drink. Ugh, whatever, I'm leaving. I've been meaning to practice my teleportation magic anyway. Joy throws some powder on the ground in an incredible magic beat. She disappears. And reappears about six feet away. You wave hello at Joy. <laughs> Ah, shut up! I'm still working on my range! Joy oh, stomps away familiar. with non-teleportation walking magic, and you are all, all alone in the woods, with no friends, and no more pee left in your bladder. You lose some of your dignity along with minus two boldness and minus one creativity. At least you didn't drink ah, pee! I can't win! It's not <laughs> possible! <laughs> At least you didn't drink <sighs> Oh, yeah. No. Not doing that. <laughs> Alright, so... I guess... The best thing to do is raise boldness that way I have two possible stats. That day in the 
haunted manor, a little clown man rides a tricycle up to you and asks you like, <laughs> your name. Cool, you love games. You suggest Monopoly or categories. The clown man tells you to find the exit key in an hour or he's going to rip all your skin off. You're not super into that idea, so you two decide to compromise by going to an escape room and solving some puzzles together. It's lots of fun, but you gain don't gain any fun here. You gain plus three boldness instead. Afterwards, you join Milo for a delicious manor feast with some ghosts. It's very romantic, even a little bit bougie. Are was... they holding a banana? <laughs> Why are they... Yes. <laughs> but then you two eat the food because everyone knows that ghost eating food is a delicacy. Ugh. Oh, isn't this fun, darling? Lately, my diet has been restricted to the detox teas I'm being sponsored to promote. So this is a nice change of pace. Oh, here's a particularly beautiful plate. Smile for the gram! Wait a minute. Where's my phone?! Why am I holding a banana? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What a great prank, Polly! Milo has no idea we swapped out their phone for a banana! <laughs> I know, Scotty. I can't wait to see the look on their face when they finally figure it out. The prank masters strike again. Just so we're clear, I am very much aware that my phone has been traded for a banana. If the color, phallic shape, and lack of constant push notifications weren't enough to clue me in, Polly and Scotty's just raucous laughter surely would be. But I can't go running to them begging for my phone back. That would play right into their hands. Not to mention it would make me seem like I'm addicted to my phone. Why are you looking at me like that? I am not addicted to my phone! No, we just need to show them that their childish games won't affect me. And to do that, we'll need to find a way to make this banana more smartphone-like. Really? Well, darling, now's the time for one of your wacky little ideas. Oh, actually, let me live stream your idea for posterity. All oh, right. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> okay, phones don't have peels. Take the peels off of the banana. It will be much more like a phone. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, you can't get your Apple phone fixed at the Apple Store, right? Maybe you should try to get the banana phone at the. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that seems like a creativity one. I'll seem creative or smart. They are so cute. <laughs> Great. I hate it. I hate this game. <laughs> Phones don't have peels. Take the peel off. <sighs> Happy! Dumb. Well, mm, which one is charming? <laughs> which one? <laughs> they neither are charming or bold. God dang it. Uh... Boy. Well, pick your poison. Yeah. Do it. Banana phone. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't believe Water Malone still believes in the banana store. I bet they still believe in Christmas, Dad, too. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's my dad! <laughs> Actually, wouldn't you know, there is such a thing as a banana store. As everyone knows, modern bananas are an artificially created monoculture. The old ones were gross and had seeds. So the idea that all bananas are manufactured by a single conglomerate isn't that far off. You head to the banana store and show Milo the banana to the guy at the Genius Bar. Oh, Jesus. This isn't good, says the genius bar guy. This is a seriously malfunctioning banana. Its stem is broken, it's brown in several places, and it's dangerously low on potassium! Okay, so how do we fix it? They've got their phone again. <laughs> I'll have to send it back to the factory and have it updated. It should only cost you about $150 plus shipping and handling. What? That's ridiculous! Why can't we just take it to some third-party kiosk? Sorry, Charlie, that'd be voiding your banana war. Banana screw you. But don't worry, your banana should be fixed up and ready to eat in three months, tops. Yeah, right. Milo's attention span can barely cover a 30-second ad. They're more annoyed with you than ever, and you lose minus two charm and minus one Jesus! Ugh. <sighs> 
Those were my best stats, too. Yeah. Oh my god, this game is ridiculous. Round about. Okay, uh... So, I mean, I need everything. <laughs> um... <laughs> I need a snack. I... You all to Dorito crunching. I guess I will go to the lake. He decided to bring a metal detector to the lake that day. You scour the beach for buried treasure. You find a keychain, a tin box of stale cookies, which you eat anyway. A glowing chalice that the Knights of Templar came to confiscate for some reason. But best of all, you manage to find some genuine silver plated plus three fun. Score! You link up with Dahlia afterwards. She practices headbutting rocks while you give her pointers on headbutting rocks. I think you guys read articles. Again, goddamn it! Get off my land! Hey, stop headbutting my rocks! <laughs> Your rocks? Well, if they're yours, how did my forehead blood get all over them, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Toots, those rocks and that precious forehead blood belong to me. I purchased Camp Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> you stole my evil laugh. <laughs> what could a fiend like you possibly want with a wonderful high morality rate? Summer camp like this. Mortality is mortality. not the same thing as morality, Karen. It Nothing at all. <laughs> That's why I'm demolishing Camp Spooky and replacing it with something much more evil. A suburban shopping mall! Uh, no Camp Spooky means no classic summer camp experiences. And no classic summer camp experiences mean no best summer ever. This is ca I won't allow it. I'll defeat you in the glorious single combat. Or, yeah, glorious single combat. When I'm through with you, your broken bones will have broken bones. <laughs> you think mere violence could stop me? Please, if you break my bones, I'll just buy replacement bones from destitute millennials. Capitalism. Oh. Wins. Your physical attacks are useless against me, Dahlia, for the true source of my power is capitalism itself. Capitalism has no bones. Alright, I have to go run an errand real quick. Someone told me there's still a rainforest that hasn't been burned down yet. I'll be right back with the bulldozers. Oh! No, I can't let him win. I'm allergic to letting other people win. You're also allergic to me. <laughs> 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 he's right. He's right, though. My fists are useless against him. Unless I defeat capitalism first. Uh. How can I attack something that has no bones? Surely capitalism must have a weak point. If only I knew what it was. Ooh, ooh, you have an idea. Capitalism's weak point is... Oh, it's genitals! <laughs> <laughs> Capitalism depends on the void in our souls, which we fill with consumer goods. That's its weakness. Fill the void. I mean, that's obviously wrong. Um, know. let's see. Mine is fun, but even that's not good enough because it's at a seven. So I guess I'll just go with this. Uh, oh! Yeah. Yes, our second. Successful <laughs> one. Thank fucking God. He says capitalism has no bones. How are you? How are you sure it has genitals? Of course it does. How do you think it manages to fuck the poor so hard? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, I get it. By genitals, you mean the fact that capitalism preys on our innate sexual urges in order to tempt, eh, in order to tempt us to make purchases to uh, purchase. Purchasing, purchasing decisions. decisions. I got it. <laughs> that are ultimately against our greater social interests. That's perpetuating the cycle of consumption, which empowers the least while keeping the poor destitute. This game, man. <laughs> I like how yeah, how. That's for sure what you meant. I I love how we started with uh. <laughs> 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 broken. <laughs> we started out so positively with freaking Mile teaching this guy about gender. <laughs> and then we're, we're freaking freaking piss in the woods. <laughs> and oh, yeah, kicking, yeah, yeah, yeah. And kicking yeah, capitalism. Yeah. Is a I can't forget that. <laughs> 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 
flashlight, yeah. And both of them happened to me! <laughs> I'm doubly <laughs> offended. I'm <laughs> That's brilliant. The fleshlight is my favorite. It. it will be victorious. But used up all my think power on that one big sentence. How will we ever think smart enough to destroy capitalism's genitals? Uh, I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Not really though. <laughs> Should we recruit Joy, Vera, perhaps sexy purple gummy bear Liam? No, you they, 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 kind of competition. There's only one way to solve this. They, the they, dumbest way possible. They misspelled Laurel. What? <laughs> <laughs> you a gummy bear. <laughs> and sexy. It has gelatin in it. You can't eat it, Warren. <laughs> you mean punching the entire United States government into its out <laughs> until it's outlaw sexy advertising? Yeah. Dolly, I took the stupid words right out of your mouth, which is hot because it's almost like kissing. Mm. <laughs> you head to Washington, D.C. and punch the government right in its bills, temporarily putting a damper on capitalism worldwide. Thank God. <laughs> millions of dollars! Curses! Profits have never been this low! Damn your socially responsible punching! You win this round, summer campus. Now I have to go lobby the government to undo all the good work you just did! That will take me 24 hours at least! How could you inconvenience me like this? This is over. The whole thing. You haven't heard the last of Mr. Papa's evil CEO. You hear me? This isn't over. Well, looks like that's the last we'll be hearing of that creep. Good work, Prince Ed. The way you punched the president was extremely attractive. Good. Thank God. Nice. You've been working on your sexy executive punch for just this reason. You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Good God. Space. Time for the hot lady to go. That day at the Camp Dome, you play a game of tug of war. You see, tug of war is a harder game than it seems. It involves a lot of strategy, and there's a secret technique not everybody knows. It's you need to be strong. You mastered this technique years ago, and so you win. The audience is cheering and roaring in joy while you slip them victorious. They throw roses at you. They throw their underwear. Someone throws you plus three charm, which you happily take. E. You meet a Robbie and Hex afterwards. We haven't seen her for a bit. For some yoga. And our stock tech actually discover that it is actually yoga. Here. Namaste, Nyabana. Two minute yoga video. Instagram and I'm obsessed. Did you know it involves breathing? How exotic. <laughs> at first I was pissed at Hex for making me do this, but I'm actually super into it. I'm gonna get so fucking relaxed my head will explode! Someone say sausages? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna read it because he already read it for me. <laughs> said sausages. Okay, Scott. It's okay, Scott. One of these days, someone will have said sausages, and then they'll be sorry. Thanks, Polly. Well, if you guys aren't talking about sausages, what are you doing? <laughs> We're doing yoga. I even found a pose that's perfect for you. It's called Upward Facing Dog. <laughs> We're yoga masters. Oh, we know all about Up Dog, and it's e evil twin, downward facing dog. We're yoga masters. With an S. <laughs> really? You guys know about yoga? Is that why you're so relaxed all the time? Ooh. Yep, that's why I'm so relaxed all the time, and for no other reason. We discovered yoga a while back and found it kind of underwhelming. Sick. But we stuck with it and made it better. And now we can probably say that we're the best yogists in the whole world. Polly, I think it's yogazoids. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there's no way you guys. Uh, You're right, because we're yoga masters. Duh! And no one's ever gonna beat our yoga high score. Oh. High score, you say? Heck yeah! 200,000 yoga points is this in a single session. It's unbeatable. Maybe this no, nothing is unbeatable. I I just need the right strategy. But what is it? 
Oh, hello. Dog pants. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Super upward dog. <laughs> Up dog. Ah, <laughs> <Down> dog. <laughs> uh, they both sound like good answers. Let me see. This sounds kind of fun, and I'm not fun. But Freaking Konami piece, code. Uh, Arabi, then you'd want to go with the arm, I think. You said get with. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good pants. Uh, but also uh, bold, and I'm not bold. Also, <laughs> only thing I am is smart. <laughs> Don't know if either one of these is smart. Yeah. Oh. Very smart. And the bottom one is the video game reference. Yeah. Yeah. But is that but smart I mean, or fun? Legendary yoga armor also sounds video gamey. Oh. oh shit! Yeah. Legendary <laughs> yoga armor. I had no such idea such a thing existed. Hey, wait. So oh. she she clicked that and it said bold, but her bold's at four. It hasn't added yet. No, but like it doesn't. I'm so confused as to how this game works. Garbage, but it like that's that made it. <laughs> you looted what? It from your last bloody raid on Lula Moan, but never walk ex exercise. <laughs> well, check out this yoga breastplate. Plus twenty to breathing in and breathing out. And these yoga greaves, plus 32 flexibility when flanking an enemy. Yeah. <laughs> of course, let's not forget about the boots of yoga. Plus 50 to kicking someone in the face so hard their head explodes. Meditatively. We are totally Thanks for the armor, Nyabana. I'm about to use it to kick some tranquil ass. No. Oh, oh she looks cute. So. Yoga armor. Needs to bust the most insane series of yoga moves you've ever seen. Wait. It's that spacecape. Wait, but Warren, how does it work? Because Sharon clicked that and it said it was the boldness, but four bold is not enough to succeed on that. But it was this time. So, so I don't get it. There, there's also another way it happens from time to time is if the the other one, so the other one was was totally fun. Sharon's boldness is higher than her fun. So it gave it to okay. her. It's I magic. see. <laughs> okay, so if the other one is lower. Okay, that's confusing. What? I don't believe it. Her yoga level, it's over 9,000. Nice. Having yoga so hard, uh, <clears throat> she beats yoga and starts over with yoga plus, which she also beats. <laughs> it turns out one yoga! I have achieved Nirvana, the world of attachments. No longer has any hold on me. I am free from the wheels of samsara which binds us all to the cycle of suffering! Fuck yeah! Hey, that gives me plus 10 to my wisdom stat. Sit! I'm gonna use it to learn a fire spell. <laughs> Phew, looks like Robbie's not hey. totally free of world attachments after all, which is good because you sort of think she might be coming attached to you you gain plus two fun and plus one boldness i i need okay. that i need that dooger yes. voice clip <laughs> dooger hello uh mint green forest green blue you said laurel yes okay click sharon oh i didn't know i had that option Player order is decided based on how disturbing it would be to go to your boss's house only to, s to discover everything they own is that color. Start debating now. Well, um, if it's mint green, then your boss is me. <laughs> <laughs> um... It's most disturbing to see someone's house painted all yellow. Yeah, I was just about to say yellow. Oh. Ow. My heart. We're okay. <laughs> It means you get to go first. My boss will look great in yellow, but okay. Well, it's <laughs> it's if literally everything in their house was yellow. Uh, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> of 
already. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about mint green? Make our money like a mint. I think I'll, a house, actually, everything in the house in mint green would be cute. Mm. Uh, hmm. I a have blue no house input. would be very relaxing, I think. Mm hmm. Kind of blue, though. Because. I don't know, every blue I think would be pretty relaxing. <laughs> wait, no, that's me. Wait, how disturbing it would be. So that'd be yeah, fun. how disturbing. I guess. I don't know, forest green is good, but maybe that would be second. Boop. Boop. Yeah. I'm just hit random. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we don't always. And then and that where Ooh, have we still been. have the plus one, thank goodness. Ooh, Ooh she's so, so sexy. <laughs> that day in the haunted manor, you find a bunch of ghosts playing craps. You're terrible at gambling, but that's never stopped you before. You face off against the craps champion, slam all of your chips down on the on the table, and cry out, "I bet my immortal soul!" Oh, oh. Everyone gasps, and then someone says, Dude, chill, we're just, like, playing to have fun. Nobody's even betting real money. Oh, you're not so used to such low stakes betting around camp. Honestly, it's a relief. You bet plus three boldness against the champions instead, and you win! Woo! You're chilling in a spooky hallway, carving your initials into a wall that's probably actually flesh, when Arabi oh, challenges yeah. down the hall and purposely rhymes into you. Hey! Hey! Nyabana! It's me, Aravi! Hex is also here! <laughs> Hi, Hex. Listen, you gotta help me. I opened a haunted can of Dr. Pepper, now I'm cursed with invisibility! Wait. You give Hex a sidelong glass. glance. They shrug and go back to knitting. I, I need to pay attention who does Hex's voice, because if it's frickin' strippin', <laughs> that'd be perfect. <laughs> I was like, how is this a curse? Oh, what? Being invisible is great. Permanent sneak attack bonus, and I can rob tombs whenever I want. Don't think it's Strippin', because I remember Hex's voice being like a little higher pitched than Strippin's. Mm. Well, it's but it's actually kind of lonely. I need someone to help me break this curse, and you always seem down to help hot people like me with their problems. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh yeah. You're about to explain to Arabi that she's not actually invisible when Polly and Scott come walking down the hall laughing hysterically. We're seeing a lot of them this time. Yeah. Well, Scott comes walking down the hall. Polly floats towards you upside down, holding a spectral saxophone for some reason. <laughs> Spaghetti! I love him. How'd I do? Did I say it right this time? <laughs> I don't know, Scott. What word were you trying to say? Pranked! Pranked! <laughs> Aw. You did great, buddy. Hooray! Hooray! Ha ha! Aravi! You got so pranked! You weren't really invisible! We just convinced you that you were invisible using lying! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that explains why my stealth bonus didn't increase. Well, at least I'm not actually invisible. You got. Wait, am I pranking Aravi? I can help. Shaboom! Unbelievable! What? Come on! Don't worry. We'll go off that in a few hours. In the meantime, just try to enjoy this hilarious prank. I just got finished talking about how being invisible makes me sad! I hate being sad! Jesus. <laughs> Alright, Gabe looked it up. It is the, uh, looks like it. they're just doing the, uh, the highest of the two stats. Gotcha, which also kind of sucks because then I have to figure out which answer is which thing Ooh boy. for both of the answers. In one of her stabbing moves. Luckily, you know a super fun invisible activity that'll help her look on the bright side. Punching people. Uh, finally finding out what Dominic is saying about her behind her back. Hmm. Are invisible people under 30? No. I'm boring. Uh, it's that one. Shit. Hmm. I am always interested in what NPC. They've got all the best quest hooks. Sick. Oh, you should have chosen the other one. 
Yeah. Because it led to charm. Ooh, you eavesdropping? Stick. I'll make us all invisible then. Uh, um, uh... Oh, wait! If I'm invisible, how will I know which one is me? <laughs> wait, what? Oh, how do you normally know which one is you? I don't! Oh. <laughs> you guys go ahead. I think Scott needs a walk. Have fun! Next makes you see through, and the three of you head over to Dominique's cabin for some good old fashioned privacy violation. Dominique is there talking to himself as usual. If I could know who. Oh, oh, that. Poor Robbie. Look at you, you fuzzy man, you. Ah. <laughs> uh. Who wants Dominique? Is it Dominique or Dominic? Dominique. It's Dominique. Nick, Nick, Nick. This isn't. Oh wait, is this Dominique? He's referring to himself. Okay. Yeah. Oh, stupid Dominique. Why don't you get yourself together and just tell Aravi how you really feel about her? Oh no. Hey, back off. I know you're nervous that she won't feel the same, or that she'll stab you, and then drop you in an acid pit, but she's just so wonderful. Sweet, beautiful Aravi. I'd like myself to, st to be stabbed a thousand times and dropped into a million acid pits if only some of my liquid flesh could be near hers. 28 stab wounds. Upon hearing this, Aravi starts blushing so hard that it threatens to break the invisibility spell. You all flee to a safe distance. <laughs> well, I had no idea... Dominique felt that way. Probably because You're every fine. time he got near me, I threatened to stab him and then throw him in an acid pit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a reflex. But now that I know, I feel all kinds of feelings that my therapist says are good. Oh! You're an incredible matchmaker, Nyabana. I can't thank you enough. No! I mean, to think all this time, I thought you had feelings for me, but really you just want to set me up with your good friend Dominique. That's so selfless. Alright, I'm off to go pay a visit to Dominique and... Arabi checks some notes she seems to have written on the palm of her hand. Bye! Not stab him. Pretty sure that's right. Goodbye, friend! You watch Arabi go with a deep heaviness in your heart. Eventually, you realize the heaviness is some gummy bears hex stashed in there for later. Good luck finding- getting them out. You lo lose minus two boldness and minus I one- I put them in life. my heart, though. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Gummy bears? Gummy bears. Oh, I'm a gummy bear. Yeah, I'm a gummy bear. <laughs> During your hike through the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of his nest. You nurse him back to health with some delicious trail mix. You also give him some great advice on puberty and how to do his taxes when he grows up. Cute squirrels. Then the mama bird finds you, and she is pissed that you're holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. You've learned an important lesson today. Don't fuck with birds. You gain plus three smarts. Later, you're wandering through camp looking for Milo. Your therapist said you need to spend some time contemplating morality, so hanging out with a reaper counts, right? Mortality, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. I'd love to chat, babe, but I've got a gig. Actually, why don't you come along? It's a lovely day for a reaping, and you'd get the privilege of watching me work. Watching Milo lead a soul into the afterlife, that's gotta count as emotional reflection. You follow Milo to a rotting corpse where the soul awaits. A little soul, I'm death, but you can just call me Milo. Here's the bad news, you're dead. But the good news is, I'm going to take you to the afterlife. Let's go. You, death, you've come for me, but first you must listen to my tale. Tis a tale of woe, of strife, of courtly ambitions, for I... I was the Grand Maester to the Merking. Ugh, another dead person with a tail. They always want to tell you a tale. People just don't respect a Reaper's time nowadays, you know? Ugh, go ahead, I suppose. I've served the venerable, venerable Merking as Grand Maester. Days, a days ago, the Merking was attacked in his sleep. He survived, but became obsessed with the idea that the attack had been a coup. He killed me in his paranoia. I saw the attack with my own eyes. The Mur King was not the victim of a coup d'etat. He was attacked by a vicious beast with the strength of 100 warriors. The 
beast. It was a doggish thing and covered in the thickest fur. And it pissed all over the king's chamber. The room was positively drenched. Ew. Strangely enough, the beast seemed to be rather enjoying itself, barking and laughing. I heard tell it was goaded on by a mysterious specter. Oh. Well, that's another mystery, and to this day I wonder if- Wait! Are you even listening to me? This story is gripping! You should be paying attention. Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. That story was way beyond my attention span. I was trying to figure out why I can't download your soul to my soul transporter app. Hmm. That's weird. What if I change the setting- Oh no, oh god no. This better not be what I think it is. Hey, Grand Meister, by any chance, did you ever trade your soul to a demon? Trade my soul to a demon? Mm hmm. I don't recall. I might have. It sounds like something I would do, but I can't remember recall the demon. Oh. <laughs> that soul belongs to me, baby. Get ready for an eternity of Dahlia. Hot. For. Uh, four years ago, I made a deal with that guy. He swore that I could have his soul when he died. For the low price of four. Elf themed pogs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pogs. Remember pogs? Yeah, you remember you guys? No. Yes. Oh yes, it's all coming back to me now. Great to see you again, Dahlia. I forgot I traded away my soul, but I never forgot those bitchin' elf. They were so sweet. They're just round pieces of cardboard. <laughs> really? Ah, such nice dogs. I was entertained by them for like four weeks, and then the next trend came and I forgot all about them. But it was totally worth trading my soul. OMG, the shenanigans. I can barely cope. Dahlia, I need you to relinquish this soul so I can take it to the afterlife. I refuse to let this affect my rating. Sorry, Milo. I traded four whole pogs for that soul. I'm not giving it up unless you give me something better. I'm not ma I'm making a soul army. He's gonna be my first soldier. Shit, looks like Milo needs to wrestle his soul from Dahlia's demonic grip. Bargain with Dahlia and get this sexy reaper the recently deceased soul that they deserve. Alright. I worry about one pathetic little soul when you can trade it for an entire soul album. Oh my god. Uh, how about 20 elf pogs? Make it rain pogs in here. Hmm. Assume the second one is fun, so probably the first one is safer to go with. That is an excellent way of looking at it, Ed. S look at my lowest stat and go from there. Yeah. What? <laughs> Whoa, an entire soul album? That's way more valuable than the puny soul. You've got a deal, Water Malone. <laughs> is the other bold or something? I guess. We lost Laurel. He takes the album and tosses the Grand Maester's soul to you. Wee! Says Whee! the Grand Maester. Tell me again! Dahlia rolls her eyes and leaves. Was genius. Obviously, you gave her an album in the soul genre, like Aretha Franklin or Otis Redding. A smart move and clever wordplay, which I deeply appreciate. Eee. Holy shit, Milo just gave you a compliment. Normally, that would make your heart rush with adrenaline and. But strangely, you feel nothing. You spend the rest of the afternoon helping Milo film a makeup tutorial, but you just can't summon to applaud it, summon the emotion to applaud their objectively incredible silver eyeshadow look. Water Malone, you're acting super weird and cold today. What's going on with you? And hey, why don't you have a reflection in the mirror anymore? I have to ask, Water Malone, do you have a soul? Answer honestly, because you're acting really soulless today. No way, you totally have a soul. You reach into your backpack where you usually keep your soul, but instead, you just find your Aretha Franklin CD. <laughs> Wait, that means you gave Dahlia. <laughs> you traded Dahlia, your actual soul album is in the CD that contains your soul. Shit! I mean, I would totally have it in an Obviously, album. You keep your soul on a CD. You couldn't keep your soul in your body because you treat your body like a trash can. Plus, CDs have lossless quality. Oof. Ew, I'll have to depart at least until you get your soul back. Without a soul, you're just mean and cold. As someone who is kind and hot, I can't abide that. Oh no, 
if you're going to flirt with Mago more, you're going to need your soul back from Dolly, and she's a flavor in no tasty pasties. You'll have to barter. You start on eBay, where Bay Area Baby 112 Bay Life Forever agrees to trade your Aretha Franklin CD for a rare meme <laughs> compilation. Turns out, Calculester loves rare memes. He's, he says they help him fine tune his humor out. You trade the meme compilation to Calculester for 4,000 gold pieces. You trade the gold to your third grade teacher. In return, she gives you a bloody cursed scepter she found in a ziggurat. Dahlia loves the scepter and agrees to trade at last. You finally got your soul back, but all this bartering costs you a lot. Your Aretha Franklin CD, the opportunity to bond with Milo. Minus two charm and minus one fun. So many options. This is already hard. Okay. Um. <laughs> what do I want? I don't. Well, know. I want boldness, but I can't do that. So. Ah. Uh... I mean, I'm going for Dahlia, so should I just go for more fun? Well, let me see. I know that... Do I have to, like, round out my stats, though? No, I believe... I believe, like, there's two specific stats that they like the most. Okay. I know fun is definitely one of them, so I guess since I can't do bold, I should go for fun. Um, that day you go diving to see what's at the bottom of the lake. You find a comic book. You pick it up, but it's so interesting you stay there reading it. This is bad, since you can't hold your breath indefinitely. Also, comic books aren't waterproof. You wash to the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little and some lake water gets into your mouth. Gross! You swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole jellyfish and plus three fun? What was that doing there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Later, you find Dahlia sitting with her legs crossed and her palms pressed together. Her pose reminds you of meditation and it would all be very calming. If Dahlia wasn't screaming at the top of her <laughs> Oh no. Ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> you tap Dahlia on her extremely muscular shoulder and ask her what's going on. Hey. Oh hey, Prince Ed. I was just getting into a screaming meditation session. Someone with my raw power can't stop training, even for a single moment. Uh, missing a training session is one of my biggest fears, but a true warrior has no fears, which is proof that I need even more training. Speaking of which, beginning at the camp actually opens up some unique training opportunities. Bing. I saw this documentary the other day about a warrior who was able to harness the power of nature itself. Oh, <laughs> The warriors study for years with the toad, like with the toads, toads of Mount M Mayabuku, and once the toads learned to trust him, they taught him their special jutsu, like Naruto. And all that, and all that nature training really paid off in the next documentary, where doc wall documentary where the warrior defeated King Dragon in the Dark Tournament of Heroes. Oh my God. <laughs> To be honest, Prince said, I'm kind of struggling to harness nature's power. I can't find a single wise toad. All the toads I've found are idiots. You're the saddest Ah, this is so frustrating! I am surrounded by nature right now, but I can't figure out how to harness it. Suddenly, Dahlia <sighs> turns away from you and starts shouting at a nearby tree. <laughs> nature! Show me your secret jutsu! I promise that I'll only use your power when I really need it. Like when anyone challenges me for any reason or just whenever I feel like it. <laughs> Giving Dahlia the power of nature sounds kind of terrifying, but also kind of hot, like in a poison ivy tentacle vine's way. Help her do it. Okay. To gain the power of nature, you must first defeat nature. Devour a salad. <laughs> <laughs> to gain the power of nature, you must be one with nature. Become a salad! <laughs> Oh no. These answers are so similar. <laughs> to devour what to become is thing about salad. Salad Feed it <laughs> or become it. Defeat it salad, sounds salad. like it would be bold, right? Yes. And devour become a salad is bold. 
Utama salad is fun. I I would hope it's fun and, and not like smart or something. Mm. I would say boldness is your key to Dahlia. Well, yeah, but my yeah. bold stat. I don't know. This this is based on stats. Not is higher than your fun stat. No, no my fun is higher. The fun stat, so the okay, but I don't I don't know if this is fun though. That is fun. It is. Are you sure? <laughs> I am sure. Would you have I fun becoming a salad? I would. Yeah! <laughs> Tell Dahlia that if she really wants the powers of nature, she's got to become the most natural thing ever. A salad! <gasps> Whoa! I never considered becoming nature! Amazing idea, Princess. Since this, is, since this was your idea, it's only fair that you go get my salad bowl and a bunch of salad ingredients. Lettuce and onions and batteries, maybe. I don't eat a lot of salads. <laughs> you follow Dahlia's instructions and get all the classic salad stuff. A bowl, lettuce, onions, batteries, tuna, farts, and of course, Windex for salad dressing. Farts. Windex? Farts. Parts. Dahlia sits in the salad bowl and you pour all the ingredients on top. You can't tell if salad sitting is a new fetish of yours or if you just have a crust on Dahlia. It's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, nothing's happening. I don't feel the all-consuming power of nature flowing through my warrior veins quite yet. Oh my god. I know why it's not working. Being a salad isn't just about sitting in a bowl with a bunch of normal salad stuff. Like Windex. Salads are made to be eaten. Prince Ed, you have to eat me. No! <laughs> I'm delicious. Like <laughs> her. Please, Prince Ed, this is the only way from one warrior to another. I insist that you eat me! You'll do anything to make Dahlia happy. With tears in your eyes, you start to bite her on her muscular Windex. I'm tastier bar. than Cheetos, oh. bigger than a bowl of oatmeal. Suddenly, a deep, mysterious <laughs> voice calls out. <laughs> Stop. You warrior, you have shown your commitment to the process. <laughs> We've seen your ambition to become a salad, even if it means death. You and Dahlia turn, and oh boy, a huge bowl of salad is appearing. It definitely doesn't have a mouth, but it's somehow talking to you. Now, come with me. You must travel to the realm of the salads, where you will master the salad ways. I shall be your mentor on this epic journey full of personal growth. You and Dahlia travel to the realm of salads. It's actually not that different from Earth, except everyone is a salad, and they achieved world peace, like, 150 years ago. The salad mentor was right, though. This is the perfect place for Dahlia to train. You two take on strange challenges by an, an ancient cryptic master. Tangle with an edgy fruit salad rival who pushes Dahlia to become a stronger salad. And enter an epic salad tournament in which Dahlia wins second place. After about three years in the salad realm, you and Dahlia return. Time passes more quickly in the salad realm, so it's only been about 45 minutes in terms of time. One with the salad. I can't thank you enough, Prince said. I feel different now, wiser, stronger, salader. You changed my life forever. <laughs> Yay! You helped Dahlia harness nature's power. You also get a kick-ass mango lime salad dressing recipe. Plus two boldness and plus one smarts. Well. Ah, uh, it's my turn. Curry. Huh? I don't want to go back to the charm dome. Charm dome. It's the charm dome. What about Scout HQ? That's creativity, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have six creativity, which is one of my higher stats. So, if I'm trying to raise my stats, boldness. Uh. Hmm. Wait, no. Yeah, that's. Charm. That's that, charm. I think you might want creativity. if she creativity for but, um mm. Cal for Cal you want smarts and smarts but what's the other one he likes? Hold on. Creativity. Okay, you convinced me. E. That day you tap happen to take the same Monster Scouts class as Mimi the only the Oni girl? Yes. You didn't get 
good sleep last night, so you ask her if she has any of that weird energy drink she let you have once during high school. She doesn't, but she does have some very strange-smelling coffee that could help. Where does this girl even find these weird-ass drinks? The coffee is delicious, but it comes with the side effects. You gain a acquired fear of caterpillars, and you grow plus three creativity in your hair. <sighs> you link up with Damien afterwards. He told you he was cute in his little uniform. There you, there you are, Apple Shant. Thanks for showing <laughs> up, but I think I figured it out. Apple Shat. I did the darkest <laughs> of my little pony. <laughs> I didn't know what a the tree was, but it sounds French. So I made an educated guess and buried landmines everywhere. Oh no. No. Damien, no. You look at him perplexed. The French didn't invent landmines, you tell him. What? They didn't? Then what the fuck is the point of the French then? Get off my property! Hey, stop burying those landmines on my property. You're dangerously close to exceeding the state of California's recommended line landmine maximum. And I don't need that paperwork. Fight me, dude. Your land? What the fuck are you talking about? I carved my name into every building here, and most of the campers. Sorry, kid. Not actually sorry. I'm evil. It's just an expression. <laughs> but Camp Spooky is mine now. Here's the deed. Huh? What? No. You can't buy Camp Spooky. This is the home of some of the most treasured memories. Also, all my landmines. All this will be a shopping mall. Your memories and explosives will have to find another home, Sonny. This is shopping mall country now. How many times do we have to stop this, that, dude? That, that blows utter balls. Shopping malls are useless. Why build one here? Especially when they're nothing but clothing stores. On the contrary, shopping malls still have one very important use. Making summer campers like you absolutely miserable. Go, intern. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to spill some oil in the Pacific Ocean and blame it on sea otters. I'll be back with the bulldozers this afternoon. Toodles! How would you blame it on yes. sea otters? We can't let the colossal wiener bulldozer... Our beloved camp. I was planning to bulldoze over our beloved camp. <laughs> There's one way to fix this that I will accept. Crimes. I love that it's in parentheses. But I will accept. Come on, Apple Shat. Help me think of the act of vandalism so Henry's it will scare the dweeb away for good. Bring in the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of any property. Shitty neighbors! Or so salt in the soil, so no salt shopping malls were ever built here. <laughs> the well, salt? The salt. Ah, uh, uh, yay! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> shopping malls aren't grown! They're built by construction workers with red hammers. Naive Damien, and Damien. He's lived such a sheltered life as Hell's royalty. He doesn't understand how the real world works. <laughs> you sit him down with a major program on shopping mall construction. Just set him straight. Oh, no. Look, see? They're digging a foundation and pouring concrete. So that's the shopping mall seeds will be protected during the delicate early stages of their life cycle, huh? Damien is entranced by the documentary. It's like he's never seen a shopping mall being grown before. Wow. I never knew building a mall requires so many bees, or so many <laughs> teen corpses to use as fertilizer. And I... I always assume people took selfies at the mall because of vanity. I never realized it was part of the delicate cycle of photosynthesis, which keeps the building alive. <clears throat> What's the purpose of the highway people are all always building towards malls, though? What does that have to do with ecology? You patiently explain that in order for a mall to be healthy, it must absolutely have a strong route structure. Oh, you're a wow! 
you really know a lot about this neighbor's <laughs> about nature, Apple Chat. That's cool. Anyway, that's pure salt anywhere, so nature can grow. Fuck is. <laughs> oh god. Back over everybody. One wore their eviction pants because I. What a noob. <clears throat> <laughs> Fuck me, money dick. We poured salt everywhere, so now there's nowhere for your dumb mall to grow. Your little shenanigans has cost me millions of dollars. Curious is why they'd have to go and make that damn nature documentary. Now everyone knows the shopping mall's one true weakness. <laughs> shopping malls are a dying breed in this country, and it's because of monsters like you. You've beaten me this time, but you haven't heard the last of me. Yeah, you f man. <clears throat> oh God, <laughs> all that salting made me thirsty. Want to go back to camp and grab a beer? Hell yeah, you do. And all that salting made you thirsty in another way too. You gain plus two boldness and plus one charm. Oh. Where's <sighs> here? Uh oh. I only got one thing oh. right, didn't I? I don't know if my stats are high enough. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm looking on myself. <laughs> I think I only literally did like one thing right for her, so it's better just just me. Uh, I'm also gonna do the somewhat more safer route. All right. Okay, my bold is at seven. Is that good enough? <laughs> Try and see. I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. Let's go! Let's go. Mm. I don't think my I don't think my stats are high enough. For him. For Calculester? Oh uh, I don't know. They're nine and nine. Okay. I guess I'll give it a whirl. Uh, okay. You didn't ask anyone to be your summer honey. You need a strong, independent monster who don't need no significant other. And of course, that can be true. But did you forget that this was a dating simulator? Shooting your shot with someone is like the whole point of this game. If you didn't want to date in the video game, why didn't you play a flight simulator or going alone to see a meteor shower simulator? You couldn't even enjoy the night. No! What you think about is how you threw away your one shot at love. Yeah, you can still lose if you pick no one. Well, it wasn't your only shot, I guess. You can always replay the game and try again. <laughs> it's a shame about this one, though. Now you gotta start all over. See you on the camp bus, loser. Damn. Wait, did you seriously choose Ask No One? You know the whole point of this game is to find a date, right? Are you sure you didn't misclick? Do you need me to go, like, go back and rerun the selection screen, or... No? Seriously? You're committing to that decision? Okay, we're go. You didn't ask anyone to be your summer fling. You failed. Congrats! With a Z. I don't even see the point in narrating this bit any further. I honestly don't know what you expected. To sit by myself oh. and enjoy. Finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. You desire a summer fling with me? Error. Honestly, answer too cruel for Apple Chat's feelings. Activating harmless life protocol. No. So, you have a crush on me, correct? I also had a unrequited crush once. The heartbreak in unbearable. So, I deleted my crush feelings file. Now, I am much better. Because I feel nothing at all. I suggest you delete your crushed calculester file, Apple Chat. You fail to see how you can come back from this. Apple Chat is doomed to be lame forever. And yet things change, but not how you think. One day you piss off an old witch who curses you by body switching your mind with an alpacas. Not only are you trapped in the body of an alpaca forever, but what's worse, the alpaca proves to be better at being you than you were. Everyone seems to like the new apple shaft better, and you're just the alpaca who couldn't get a date. Oof. At least you're a cute alpaca. 
you finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you. Summer fleeing between you and me? You know, Prince Ed, when I first met you, I thought you were just a scrawny little runt. That's true, though. <laughs> <laughs> but after getting to know you better, I realized that you've been exercising the most important muscle of all, your heart. Oh! <gasps> you may not be capable of lifting weights with it, but you, you've lifted my spirits during this summer camp. So yes, let's go to the meteor shower. We can exercise our hearts together. Ed one! Ed one! Ed one! Ed one! Sebastian oh. camp was awesome! <laughs> Alia designed a sexy weightlifting regimen to do together. It focused a lot on strengthening the glutes and pelvis. Winky face. Congratulations! Yeah! <laughs> Damn it. And now we see this. Before we knew it, those weeks were gone. It felt like a hot minute, and it felt like Not an entire lifetime. Oops. That night, as we saw summer coming to an end, we all wondered what would come next for us. It felt like the end of something big. Little did we know, life still had many wonders and misadventures in store for us. Now I'm older and I can see it. How those years became the foundation for the mythology of our lives. Broken hearts turned tragedies sung for centuries. Wild nights became epics treasured forever. Every kiss and every laugh is now a constellation we'll always find while gazing into the starry night, no matter how many years go by. Oh. Oh. my eyes, and I'm there. On that last summer night. So pretty. Like I was just starting to live life. Fully animate. Friends around that campfire. So young and unafraid, and so ready to start. Cute. Cute. Oh, are you guys only seeing your character? No, we're seeing you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh look at Dahlia. Ah, oh, so cute. Ah. Oh, Pig. Pig. Pig for poop. <laughs> oh, I'm lost. <laughs> Gerard was in this too. E. Oh. <laughs> Here's just me and Sharon playing the two. Yeah. Yeah, wolf gun. <laughs> oh, we didn't get to see the little bat that pretends to be like Katniss ever did. We didn't see any arrival camp. Oh, we didn't. La, 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 la. You got it. Sort of. Yeah. Ooh. That's us. Oh, not the bees. <laughs> bees. <laughs> bees. Bees. The bees. <laughs> I wanted to see them. So I looked it up, the bees, uh, <laughs> the, the only thing the bees do is change your name to Nicolas Cage. Oh, great. Fantastic. I also love Joy. Oh, I love her so much. She's so cute.
Again, created yeah, by a beautiful boots. glitch. Thanks for playing. You know, well, I thought I was even find prettier love. than <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it was I... even prettier than what? The original. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I am like ectoplasm and castic wine. I got stat smoothie. I got nothing. Oh. Oh. Got what? Nothing. You know how you like unlock stuff sometimes after playing? Oh, it like, I didn't this. unlock anything. Oh. I, I need a stat smoothie. I need to turn off the anime outfits. <laughs> But the animal. <laughs> wow, this was fun. Yeah. Yee. Yeah, yeah it was very out. fun. Yeehaw. Ooh. I uh, guess uh we're we're all done then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> stop <laughs> that swim. Alright. Okay, Thanks for that's coming, all Gabe. the time I've got. Thank you for I gotta get back animal. to playing Animal Crossing oh, New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. I was just about to say, I hope you had fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good night. More. Good night.